Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And we're gonna take we're gonna put on white shoes and we're all gonna lay down in bunk beds together tonight. And when we go to sleep, we're gonna be taken to a cosmic heaven. Who's with me? Real talk, real talk, real shit. How, what up, fam? What up, fam? Real talk. I miss y'all. We'll talk. have refreshments. <laughs> Kool-Aid. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was only talking like that because I was watching this dude just troll people on, on, like, uh, on the uh, G, um, GTA RP, and that's what he would do. He'd go in there like, real talk, you know what I'm saying? You look sexy as hell, and I'd love to fuck you in the butt, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gay, though, you know what I mean? And he would, like, and they, they, they do these emotes, and they would grab him and run around with him, and everybody's trying to role play that gangster. And he's like, real talk, though, you sexy as fuck, though, boy. <laughs> he's like, now we boyfriends. <laughs> Hold my pocket. <laughs> it's funny as hell, dude. They get so mad because they get so into this RP bullshit. Sorry, we were late. My Bluetooth, I turn off the Bluetooth on my computer, and the only way to turn it back on is I have to restart my whole computer because I'm a piece of shit. And that's what happens. Did you just spit on your floor? Yeah, you I disgust did. me. I don't give you no shits. You fucking, you're a, that's what you're what they what 21 pilots wrote that song about. All my fr friends are heathens and they spit on their floors. It was oh, in thought, Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was that. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it was uh, that, that song they wrote. Who what was the band's name? There goes my hero. Oh, Foo Fighters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what it sounds like, too. <laughs> he sings it just as sultry. <laughs> Watching as he goes. Yeah, I know. Because he's gay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being happy with men. Everybody should be happy with a man in their life. I would be if only I could find one. Mm -hmm. Wolf of Elm Street. Thanks, buddy. Says, love you both, Jake. Keeping you in my thoughts, brother. Hey, thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. I'll tell you what, Wolf of Elm Street. That's that's the crossover we all need. <laughs> if they can't get Robert England back. We're just going to have a fucking werewolf. But it's on Elm Street, so it counts. Yeah, it's on Quaaludes. <laughs> yeah, I want to see a werewolf. <laughs> it's fucking, yeah, it's going to be Leonardo uh, DiCaprio and Quaaludes. <laughs> uh, crease fold. Getting it in the crease. In the streets, says got tickets for Scarefest. Fuck yeah, All dude! Right. Hope to see you oh, there, dude. dude. You need, you know what, man? You need to cosplay as somebody from Reno nine one one with that beautiful stash you got going on. You need to wear the short <laughs> shorts and everything else, the Highway Trooper stuff. Okay, you be a Shogun legs, rock it. That's a sexy mustache. mustache All though. the powers derived from my mustache right here. Now I want to ride it. Mustache Get on on that train. The mustache and ride, ride it. it. Uh, you know what? Jay and I are old enough to when we were kids, we used to play basketball and we'd have a boom box and we'd put in the Space Jam soundtrack while we played basketball together. Yeah. And it, back then it wasn't corny. It was real. It would give you like fucking like strength to the maybe <laughs> hopefully fly up there and do a dunk, but you never could, but you made you feel awesome. And it wasn't <laughs> like corny. Like people were like, oh, they rocking out the Space Jam. Though. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, yeah. we could have probably gone to an and one pickup game and they said, that's fucking cool, man. They got their own yeah. soundtrack. It's Space Jam. Yeah, Space Jam was the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack of our youth. It wasn't that good, but it was still, to us, it was. Mine, I don't know about you, dude, but I, I think it was either that or, or the fucking Tootsie Roll. The Tootsie Roll. The Let tootsie me see roll. that Tootsie Roll. Uh, Iron Samurai. That's a cool name, too. I bet mm -hmm. that, is that your, is that what you make your lovers call you in bed? No, call me Iron Samurai. It's the I name lay of down my this thunder cock. <laughs> hey mike and jay have y'all guys watched the show warrior on hbo max oh, oh sorry just max it's a real badass show i think y'all guys would love it love you my brothers wham for life hey thanks Iron Samurai. love you too uh, man i no, i don't even know what that is i've only seen you. the Heard what was it warriors yeah warriors with um what's his face and the other guy's face movie uh, was, i think it's just called warrior isn't it yeah it's just called yeah warrior. that's what i said yeah. yeah joel edgerton and tom hardy that's what i said yeah those guys Guys who have a lot of protein in those diet. guys are that. That's the only movie I've ever seen with a warrior in it. So I, yeah, I, I was thinking when you said that, I was like, shit, did they make a show out of that? Because that would be badass. Yeah, that'd be cool. I never. Well, I mean, I, you know, honestly, you. Joel Edgerton would come back and do it because he's not doing much else. He does a lot of indie shit, you know. Like he does like those A twenty four indies and stuff a lot. He just had one come out called The Gardener. And he's like a he's an ex hitman who just wants to plant. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the tell me. I just want to be left alone and make plants. Tell me the rider strike isn't affecting you without telling me the rider strike isn't affecting you. <laughs> <laughs> Take your fucking gardener, dude. Hey man, I got this hot roll coming. He's like, yeah, what's it about? I garden shit. Oh, it's called. <laughs> I'm a badass gardener. though. Huh? I'm the master. It's called master gardener. That's what it was. I, oh, I got it wrong. He's probably a masturbator and a master gardener. But I mean, it's like dog, dog. It's not. You don't even know. It's like I plant dead bodies. Now that's a cool movie. <laughs> I actually watched that. He called the Master Gardener. 
Then he like he like fertilized his like garden bed with all the bodies that he killed. He was like a serial killer. It's based on just Harvey Keitel's from Pulp Fiction's life. Yeah, you know, is it really just about fixer? gardening? That's stupid. No, he's a guard. Yeah, he just wants to be a gardener, but his ex life catches up with him. I don't know. I just watched. There's gonna be a fucking gardener, dude. It's not like you need a, <laughs> like an application to fill out. I think the family that he was like gardening for got gets threatened or something, so oh he has to God. John Wick it. This is why they, you know, this is why Hollywood continues to fucking like rehash old movies because these are the original ideas they've got. Let's make a movie hey, about gardening. Yeah, and it was one of those movies apparently where like everyone talks in whispers and nothing fucking happens. I don't oh know. That's God. just what I got. Yeah, it's like of. I don't know. It's like actually trying to watch your flowers grow out of the fucking fertilizer that you plant. <laughs> it's as boring as that. Sean Tubby one two three Sean. says one sub glow six two y'all ever thought about doing ain't no or an album with uh y'all very talented and you could do horror comedy parody rock scary tenacious d vibes uh <laughs> i well first off those guys are extremely talented like jack black can actually fucking sing extremely mm -hmm. well and that dude that uh, what's his name kyle he can play the guitar like a motherfucker too like they're both really really talented they I are. don't think we'd do that at all. I mean, we could maybe make nope. a joke, like a jokey type of like rip off Beastie Boy Wish.com shit, and that'd be yeah. about the closest we could get to it. Yeah, I I, I want to call the take... shitty boys, not the Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the jerky boys. Yeah, I, I want to eventually take all the songs we've got and do something and maybe get it professionally recorded with the guy that used to record with our band. I haven't talked to him in forever, though. He's a good dude, though. He'd probably give us a good discount. Uh, yeah. But eventually, that's that's, but he might that's be like, hey, it's ten thousand dollars. Like, what the fuck? How do you sleep at night? <laughs> Just grab his microphone. I'm taking this. I would. I would just take his old monster cans. That's all I could grab because he used to be a big monster addict. He used to love that fucking monster, man. Had a whole fridge. Of, didn't drink, but you'd be recording and open his fridge. And it's just like, and the expensive ones too, like the cult, the tall fucking cans. And he'd yeah. just be like, man, I just drink monsters and think about life. He's a deep dude. Deep dude. He was. Uh, Ed Boy Movie says, hey, boys, not much. Just showing love. Hey, that's hey, that's. Thanks, man more than fucking what's necessary buddy thank you so much we appreciate it and we appreciate all you and we love you ed boy movies and i'm gonna take every single one of you into my bunk tonight that's right i've been taking viagra oh. and drinking patchouli juice and i had green beans for dinner you so, saw like bill cosby without the jello <laughs> and, and the fucking boys and the and the, and yeah. the uh and the uh drugging you don't have a choice in this matter. I'm just going to wait till you fall asleep and then sneak in your window like the tooth fairy. But instead of giving you money, I'm going to fuck you and then give you money. That's assault, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I paid for it. Doesn't count. Oh, okay, well, it's fine. It's <laughs> I left money on the nightstand. It's dude. consensual then. Y'all fucked. It's all good. Uh, Austin, thanks, buddy. Says, I have three imposter Luma stories. One, I, ups or I upset the director of Underworld by saying the werewolf snouts were too snubby, Ooh. stubby. Challenged Lou Ferrigno to an arm wrestling match and put part one Jason in a headlock. Isn't part one Jason like a hundred thousand years old? <laughs> He's like old dude, man. We should call you Connor McGregor, Austin. <laughs> Out there yeah. beating up old Motherfucker dudes. should have been looking at me like that. I said, fuck him. I put him in a headlock. He's all 88 year old ass. <laughs> I his bones crunch and everything. Ain't no, no, uh, that I, stole uh, his Wheaties. As far as like the, the werewolf snouts were too stubby. I, I don't, uh, yeah, I guess so. And you challenged Lou Ferrigno to. He got pissed about that that you did that. I guess maybe. I I could see that though. You know, it's like it's like when you're a um a gynecologist and you get home and, and you're like, man, if I see one more vagina today, I'm gonna throw up. I swear to God. You know, Lou Ferrigno is probably just like if one more person challenges me to an arm wrestling competition, I swear to fucking God. I, you do, know? I thought you were going somewhere else like that. Like you were gonna challenge the if you were a gynecologist, I challenge you to a pussy eating contest. <laughs> you're like what? <laughs> no, because you said vagina. Uh, yeah, no, seriously. I, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I, I'm where, gonna I, do the street. That's where my mind went. It was gross. But uh, yeah, challenge I, you to a pussy eating competition. She's like, God damn. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, it's off the records though, for real. <laughs> I swear to God, what do you think someone would say? What do you think a you court fired fed fucking and charged for sexual harassment? Probably. No, no, I just think if just like you did it, like if you just went oh. to a dude at like an Applebee's and you like walked across the street and you're like, hey, man, how's your mashed potatoes? He's like pretty good. He's like, well, let me tell you something and just slam your hand. Down. I was like, I challenge you to a pussy eating competition. Oh, or a dick sucking contest. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, no, dude, I swear the way to diffuse it, if you're in a situation where you don't know what to do, I don't know. This may or may not, may not work, but I think it will. You somebody's like, man, I'll fuck you up, dog. You in my face and like talking all this shit to you. She's like, man, I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to pull your pants down and suck your dick till your load explodes <laughs> in my mouth. I'm gonna fuck you raw, and then I want you to fuck me afterwards and look me in the eye when you do it. I bet that guy's like, fuck this shit, dude. <laughs> I bet you defuse that situation completely. Unless yes, he's really into it. He's like, what if he just stops? He's like, for real? 
<laughs> you, suck my you, get, dick. you get the wrong guy and he has those breakaway pants on and he just fucking rips them off and starts swinging his dick. Yeah, it's kind of right like that. Will, what was it, Will Ferrell? What was it, uh, the ladies' man where he kept trying to wrestle? It. But you try to wrestle me and, and stick it in my butt, and that's just not cool. <laughs> You're clearly in the closet, and that's okay. But you tried to wrestle me with old. Or I'm gonna like fuck that. you till you love me. Yeah. I gotta say the last part of that for sure. Thanks, Austin. Caleb Parkinson with a picture of me during COVID. That was a dark night. <laughs> that was a dark night, Caleb. I made myself look fat on purpose. Shut up. M, Mike and Jay, I'm ta taking a poop, watching you, and thinking of you. Hey, that's what it's all about, man. That's what YouTube's here for and live streams especially. Take that take that news, drop it down in that toilet, flush it. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's Curtis flush. Keep on going. Have a good old time. Happy to have you with us, Caleb. Take a big old shit. Make sure you show yeah. that turd who's boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just and and uh, what are you gonna do afterwards? We all know. We all not know wash your hands. I'll bet that. I'll bet you won't I'll wash, you wash your hands. hands I'll bet you won't wash your hands, Caleb. Mike wants Wipe pictures. Well wiping. And Mike Wipe wants well. pictures in his email, his personal email of your poop and your dick and you washing, not washing your hands. It's Jonathan Jot Jones at 106 Yahoo.com. That's how you can reach me. Jay and I traded email addresses a long time ago, and Goddamn I would like pictures right. of everyone's defecation. I want to see it. And the best one gets challenged to a pussy eating competition. <laughs> That's right. More dick with sucking contest. With your mom. <laughs> we, we both do it to your mom. Yeah, Adrian Yabara says, how's the new Madden so far? What's your... Uh, don't, I don't, don't fucking ask me about my personal life, Adrian. All right? That's fucking personal, and I don't want to talk about it. All right? It's a God WL says it. for wussy loser. Wussy loser. <laughs> wussy. Yo, it's actually, you, by the way, did you hide your gamer tag? Um, you know, bitch. No. Yeah, you nope. did. I knew you did. No. I knew you, you did, bitch, because I could see it already. Because I know, because I, I, I didn't hide mine. I was like, Mike Holtz was online six days ago. I was like, that's bullshit. That's a fucking lie. This cocksucker no. turned off his fucking appear online. I'm mm -hmm. like, I was just gonna bother you. It wasn't you. I was hiding from. It was the police. Oh, oh yeah. I was getting. I was getting weird do messages. Troll Xbox Live looking to execute warrants on people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, Madden sucks. Um, it's the same game. Uh, but a little bit shittier every single every single damn year, and we expect that. But I'm I'm angry because I haven't been able to f crack the code yet. And I did this last year too. I don't want to talk about my win loss record. All right, don't ask me about things like that because it's not fucking pretty. I'm like goddamn 19 and 32. It's fucking embarrassing. Aren't that, you a Green a, Bay that I played fan? that many games? What? Aren't you a Green Bay Packers fan? Yeah. Isn't it the same kind of thing? What do you? No, we're good. So I don't mm -hmm. know what you're talking. What about. What was your record last year? Eight and nine, so oh. better than my record in Madden. Yeah, so jokes so on you, stupid idiot. <laughs> You're a stupid idiot. You know, you couldn't even join my game because you don't even have nunchucks, and I have nunchucks, and you don't even have nunchucks. What's so your record with idiot. I've got giving game. orgasms versus right. having them? Why don't you turn around and let me put my dick in your ass? What <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All right, you win. Agree to disagree. No, no it's actually funny. I, Cody, my brother, was over here this uh, a few hours ago and was talking about the same thing, uh, and he sent a group message to us, and he said, but I don't get it, dude. Why do you go out? You know it's going to be the same fucking game. He, like, he was like, oh, they should release one every other year. I think they should release one every three years. Look, I'd be fucking fine with it if they didn't, and they just did a roster update that was that's like what 15 they should bucks. Do. That's but, dumb, but that's dumb as fuck. They're going to charge you $15 for, for a roster update. That should be free. Well, the gameplay is different, and that's why I can't get used to it. Because like the defensive players like react slower, and the passing's just—it's just that little fucking cunt hair off that fucks me up, and and it gets me messed up. And the players feel like they're moving in quicksand, and there's all these glitches, and I'm just—I'm getting my ass handed to me. And no matter how hard I try, it keeps fucking happening, and I'm really upset about it. But I swear to God, I will figure it out, and I will bring that up to a winning win-loss record, just like I did last year. God damn it, Adrian. Now I'm upset. <laughs> Somebody, you know, somebody's in the chat thinking, get good, loser. <laughs> I'm trying. Get good. Get good. And they're going to spell like G E T G U D. Get good. <laughs> I'm get so good. bad, dude. I'm getting my buns kicked in. Wolf of Elm Street says, dude, Freddy on Quaaludes is the pinnacle. <laughs> Did you imagine that shit? <laughs> that would be hilarious, dude. Like, if Yo. you were going to go all out and not give a shit about like the story at all, and, like, I, like, I could see Freddy on Quaaludes is like, a scary movie, like fan film or something. That'd be funny. Like, imagine if he didn't know what a quaalude was and he just took it and then he was all fucked up chasing people through the dreams. But he's like, he went straight to the cerebral palsy stage. So he's just crawling and shit. You're all my children now. Hang up the phone. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mike Parton, what's up, dude? Says, I saw Blue Beetle yesterday, and I thought it was way better than the previous DC movie, The Flash. And it's probably going to do very well. I think you're one of two on that one. Maybe it's good, but it's not going to do well. I'm, I, I want to see it. I mean, I actually forgot it was out this Friday. I mean, I definitely want to see it. I don't want to go out to the theater and see it, but I, I'm interested. And I like the kid that cast as, as Blue Beetle. I thought he was great on uh, Cobra Kai. Yeah. So. Uh, I just I saw the trailer for it and it looks like DC's version of oh that was a DC movie fuck me it looks like um just like Shazam did to me like just oh my god I don't think I can handle another by the numbers fucking uh superhero origin story movie I just don't, I, I don't think I can do I it. thought Shazam was all right the first one was good the second one I didn't like too much I think that what happened with uh, was it Zachary Levi is that his name that played yeah. Shazam I think what happened with Zachary Levi is like he went to in the second one, he acted too overacted the kid part. I thought the idea of Shazam is pretty cool. The idea of it being like big with Tom Hanks, like flavors throughout the whole thing, like kind of like big. It was kind of cool. But then added Shazam too. But Blue Beetle actually makes sense because the kid they cast is the same age as uh, Jaime or Hami or I think it's Hyman. Hyman. Hyman maneuvers. Hyman. Uh, Heimlich. Uh, but Jaime uh, is like so the age is like perfect for that character and, and the actor they cast. So I think it, I mean yeah, it probably is. I like the actor. Good. Yeah, I do like the uh, yeah. I just it's just I just I why it's, it's the a, same fucking movie we've had a thousand goddamn times Lopez already. I don't, I don't understand it, uh, but I, I do hear it's good though. Uh, but I I have a hard time thinking that's going to make any money in today's climate. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Root and Texas, 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 Texas. What the hell is a ski condo? <laughs> it's for a bunch of goddamn uh, northerners and those damn Democrats rooting to and fuck them. Let them uh, let them go up there and go goddamn mountains and freeze to death. I never heard of such buffoonery. Jay, never you ever drank the life. sweet drippings out the bottom of the drink barrel? Now, rooting to you coming on in here with in front of all these fine Christian folk that go to church and pay their taxes on time and ask me such a goddamn question. Of course I've done that. Shit, sir. What you think you are? You old man from fucking the South? I lick the shit out them barrels. <laughs> probably queer. He's probably gay <laughs> as fuck if you ain't licking barrels. You're probably queer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me put this back and get you a spritzer uh iggy the alien says surprise i'm back again good to see you buddy hey all right sorry i've missed so many streams i've had so much going on long story short i had a bad sexual episode last night oh. um oh no sorry i finally made it to college hey that's hey, all right congratulations Inky. it's not Hope easy it i was well. there for i was there for about 27 and a half days Good That's luck on your degree and the insurmountable, insurmountable amount of debt that you will accumulate over your four years of college. Yeah. Just pick Don't. something that you can use to pay it fucking back with. <laughs> Not psychology. Is it that true? Is oh, it that dude, true? Oh my god, I'm literally drowning in fucking college, like debt. College. Debt. No, that shit got paid back. You didn't know? No, no, no. You no. can get that shit paid back, Jay. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, because no, I never made any get... payments on that motherfucker. I said, fuck. Oh. <laughs> it was the federal government. They take fucking taxes okay. from you. I said, no, man, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Pay if for you don't my pay college, it, bitch. Can't give it. And then that's... Uncle Sam was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's not the password. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's... <laughs> that's next level. He's like, they can't pay me back if I don't pay them in the first place. God damn, dude. Like, those fucking college loan debts are following me around like an STD that just won't quit. And Jay knows all about that. It's happened seven to nine times. At least ten. <laughs> Jacob! Jacob sent me a song the other day. I gotta forward this to you, man. It's fucking great. It's it's fucking awesome, dude. He says, just saw Into the Dragon in theaters for the 50th anniversary. That movie's 50 fucking years old, man. Oh, Holy damn, man. shit. Uh, and ended up catching COVID. Ooh. Hoping to get better before my birthday Tuesday. Finally turning 24 so my friends can like me again. LOL. I uh, love you guys. Stay sexy. You stay sexy. You fuck. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, yeah, I never, um, I couldn't imagine how cool that would be to see Enter the Dragon in the theaters. I haven't seen that. Show enough. Uh, but goddamn, man. That's got to be cool as fuck. But it sucks that you got the old Kobe. Oh, man. You got to stop you... making out with those dudes that enjoy karate movies in the theater. That's true. Or women, whatever. But I mean, either way, dude, stop. But yeah, that's cool that you uh, that you got to go see that. But yeah, for sure, man. Um, hope uh, you have a good birthday and you feel better before your birthday. Yeah, uh, hopefully it's mild like like most of the cases are now nowadays. I don't know. We've probably had it seven times since we got. It I don't know, man. There's this new fucking variant they're talking about. Like it's the end of the goddamn world. I don't want to hear it. This esteroid or whatever. I'm like, they're like, you gotta mm. get another jab. And I said, take that jab and shove it up your goddamn chocolate starfish, you motherfucking Dr. Fauci sucking motherfuckers. I took my two. <laughs> I ain't doing no more. You had your two. I said I'm out. 
Now you know they put Bud Light in those fucking syringes. Yeah, That's the, I don't want to fucking for hear no it. goddamn Doctor Fauci and them DC asshole ass hat motherfuckers. You ain't injecting me with the Barbie. Hey, <laughs> you ain't doing it. Don't make me come up there and have another goddamn incident like we had on that old January six motherfucker. <laughs> That was a friendly meetup of card carrying members. Now everybody know that. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, goddamn you, 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 goddamn on point right there. Now listen, I'll, I'll, we are all there at the Applebee's crossroad, just buying no goddamn business, listening to some honky tonk, and then we heard one of them fucking nobodies up there saying, "Hey, you bunch of no good, goddamn southern butt licking motherfuckers," and then you don't just insult the southern man like that. <clears throat> no says I. No, say, ain't no but, way a phone just rings at a police no, station. Real, no no way, real. no how. But for really reals? Try that in a small I, town. I, you know what, Shotty? I ain't going to take no more stabbings, Shotty. <laughs> I'm done with that shit. I'm not doing any more. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I'm, I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm not doing any more. Fuck that booster, booster on top of the booster, booster time. Now, four. if we end up in another situation where the whole world shut down and we really need to get it back, I'll consider it. But right now, I'm like, oh, fuck, good. Stop it. Get that fucking thing away. Hey, listen. You want me to eject this into my heart? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the yeah. size of this fucking needle. Listen, <laughs> I'm already antisocial. I don't even like people that much. So you got nothing to worry about. I'll stay away. You just stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jacob. You're I'll the best. You feel better. Do nothing uh, but watch porn. I'm not a and, risk. And if we don't see you before Tuesday, which I think we will, probably, maybe, I don't know. Happy fucking birthday. Happy Good man. Birthday, dude. Nobody likes you when you're 23, but he's not anymore. So suck his dick. Adrian Yabara. Speaking of which, said, so, Lubis, so did Michael try it in a small town? I guess he goddamn didn't. Well, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did try it. He did try it in a small town. You're goddamn right. Jason Nelson's a goddamn prophet. That piece of <laughs> duty eating piece of shit, mass square, and William Shatner, <laughs> fat fucker, tried that in a small town. He got smoked. He got the thunder crack on his crack. <laughs> Don't try that in a small town, Mike and Mike. He could try that shit in New York. Look what happened to Jason. Turned into a big pussy in the sewer. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I would. I swear to God, if I could handle listening to country music for the amount of time I've never it would even take heard that song, but everybody's their panties uh, are in a twist. It's so weird that it's so divisive. I don't even know what the fuck it's about. I, yeah, I don't know. I just I, I hate all that that rhetoric type shit anyway. So I, I'm not offended by it. I just think it's so corny. But I I, I will say this: uh, if I if I could do that, I would totally edit Michael killing everybody in the uh, in the street in Halloween Kills to that song to try that in a small town <laughs> while he's yeah. going crazy. Someone should do that. Uh, Isaac Slayton says, "What's up, Mike and Jay? First time donating. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Isaac. Uh, we'll be gentle on your home. Isaac Slayton." That sounds like a badass Xbox Live gamer tag name, and I'll bet that's what it is. Slayton, Slayton that ass and them gamer points, slaying pussy. That's a great wide receiver name, by the way. And he's a 49ers fan, which makes me like him a tiny bit less, but not that much less. Um, mm. First time donating. You guys are awesome. Have y'all ever seen Blood Simple or Mouth of Madness? Two of my favorites. Also, hope you guys get to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's really fun. Yeah, um, I, I, I followed the... Uh... The, when they were when they released the beta version of it, it was really fun. I, I thought it was amazing looking, but uh, yeah, we I'm actually play the on, alpha. It's on alpha is before oh, beta, dummy. Alpha. So you watch them. No they beta. look like if you watched alpha gameplay of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's like watching Robo Roblox. They're fucking. It's the <laughs> it's the most incomplete piece of shit ever. Anyway, but yeah, it looks really fun. It's on Game Pass by the way, which is interesting and cool at the same time. But as far as far as Blood Simple, never seen it. Mouth of Madness is enjoyable. Do like I love Sam Neil. Great time. I think it was last year, uh, Isaac. We did a full on review of that, didn't we? We did, right? I mean, it was a mad, it was a maddening time. I don't know. I, th we I were think we're in I the mouth of madness. Yeah, I think we have a big, fat, long uh, review of that. If I'm not, I could be mistaken. No, we did. I we did. We fucking did for Patreon. Uh, but I never. Yeah, no, oh. no. I think it was on the October Fest of last year, oh. uh, Halloween Horror Month. Um, but Blood Simple, never seen that one either. Uh, we'll take that recommendation. And and also definitely gonna play Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I want the first time to be together, just like our, the first time Jay and I ever uh, tongue to someone. When I would had, like it to be together. First time we had sex with a woman, we both were there like taking pictures, so we remember it for always. Yeah, if, if you gotta have the right got men in your corner um, yep. to show you how to how your dick man. off, keep you in the keep you in the ring. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which hole to put it in, which hole to take it out of. Um, Instruction. A lot of things. Yeah, it's like a coach. Uh, Jay's, Jay was my Freddie Roach, and Life I was coach. his um, Freddie Roach. Uh, yeah. But no, I... I, what, I Mike was my Emmanuel Stewart a little bit. He was more laid back. 
Yeah, that was me. Yeah. And then we, we got Mills Lane and we we both just ran the train. I know someone's gonna say Emmanuel Stewart. What the fuck are you talking about? He was like, I'm fair, but I'm firm. We were like, Prove No, it. I was like, Yeah, it's Emmanuel Stewart. Emmanuel Lewis is a huge fucking because you know there's people that don't watch boxing. They're gonna like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, the show's gonna have a deep cut joke there. But it's okay. Most of our jokes aren't funny anyways, even if you get them. That's but fine. I will say this I bought a fucking capture card um and try to figure it out i still have i learned very quickly there is many things i still need to do before we get there but i did hear a, a thing jay i found this out if a game is on game pass you can stream it possibly just from your computer with your xbox account so you don't have to drag your xbox into the equation so yeah, it's, maybe it, yeah, yeah it's called the cloud you dumb shit boomer fuck you god fuck damn you. You i talked it. about this last you stream motherfucker you do it um, I don't know how to do it, and I never claimed to know how to do it, but don't say your boomer <laughs> words in front of these Zoomers. You embarrass me. Then prove it! Uh, no, what I was trying to say was, we're going to figure it out. <laughs> this is, this is, every time Jay and I sit down to do it, this is what happens. No, um, but I, I, once I figured that out, I think we might be able to do it, and it may be pretty simple for us to stream the game live on the Patreon soon. That's what I'm, my fingers are crossed, yeah. and my dick's between my legs. Uh, well, it's shoved back. all the way back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but shoved in. back. Yeah, you got to shove it in. What y'all think? Tucked in or tucked out? <laughs> tucked in or tucked out? Swat thought. Swat thought. Swat thought. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I was uh, gonna say uh, the thing about that. Uh, yeah, the TCM game, dude. Yeah, I think me and Mike are gonna have a blasty blast in the balls of sunshine when we play it because uh, the fact that you can play with other other people. I, I do. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I want to be the killers because it's fun. But at the same time, being the survivors, dude, your fucking hands will sweat and your your crack will sweat, too. It's a good time. I'm excited to play. It's insane that the dudes at Gun Media live like 20 minutes away from us and we've never figured the fuck out. <laughs> I fucking because they don't want anything to do with us. They just like, yeah, we respect you that you live you know, close to us. But we don't. <laughs> you're, you're kind of nasty. You're kind of like that. You're kind of like that diseased whore that walks around the streets of Philadelphia that everybody has had a, tur a turn on. But we're good. Things. Yeah, yeah, we're good. we know that. We'll, you, yeah. yeah, it's like he, you're like that hooker we'll just watch that like far. is known around the town, and like they're like the guys that drive by and they like wave to you, but they're like, God damn, she's still alive. <laughs> we we we'll say a quick story. We were at Scarefest, and mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't don't say no. I'm not. Though. We're we're at we're at Scarefest, and one of the dudes from uh, one of the main dudes from Gun Media comes over to the booth, and he's like, "Hey, you know," and, and we you know we met for the first time, and it was pretty cool, and we were having a nice conversation, and our buddy Garrett walks up with a fucking he had one of those they had these drinks with like wine uh, in a bag, it's like a blood bag full of wine. It was like a Scarefest special drink. <laughs> Garrett's fucking drunk ass walks over, and I, I, he only heard like part of the conversation. He didn't know who he was, yeah. Yeah, he walks right up to the table and goes, yeah, I cut their fucking heads off. <laughs> and then, uh, talk, not talking about, it's a no, fictional just, thing. Yeah. Uh, fictional thing, but uh, it was out of context. And the guy goes, all right, I'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> like, God damn it, Garrett. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, bro. I was like, Garrett was like that guy at the end of Super Troopers that jumps out of the closet. He was like, I love acid. <laughs> his hair's all fucked up. <laughs> it's like this is why these circus missions cannot hold their booze. Oh, uh, but they're super nice guys, by the way. You can read uh, that next over week. Gun Media. I'll be right back. Okay. He's gonna go look at his dick again. Sometimes he just misses it when it's gone. Uh Eduardo Santiago says, guys, 50th anniversary of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 28th anniversary of Mortal Kombat and 20th anniversary. Oh, Jay's got a scream poster back there. What the fuck is that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw what you were keeping behind you. What? I fucking saw what you were hiding from what? all of us. Do you see my you pocket fucking, pussy? You, clo <laughs> you fucking closet. I've yeah. It's, it, well, people with small dicks, they have pocket pussy. Like, pe big people with normal size cocks, they have fleshlights. But me and Jay, we have pocket pussies. It's like the gigapet of pocket pussy. It's a gigapet yeah, of fleshlights for people get, with small dicks. Yeah, okay. So I want to get sponsored by Pornhub. Big deal. <laughs> no, I saw you, you fucking closeted scream fan. You fucking love it. You love that scream shit, oh, that, don't you? That, no, that piece of shit right there. Oh no. Yeah. I said I, yeah, first off, I never said I didn't like the first movie. That's the first fucking movie. <laughs> so and second off, that was also my wife's dum dum head mm. that wanted that up here. Dum dum head. <laughs> I was like, because there's a there's a lot of other posters I could have put up here. And she's like, Oh, just put the scream poster because I love scream. I was like, you know, a lot of people like a lot of things, but they don't get what they want in life, sweetheart. <laughs> But then I went ahead and did it because I, I because then I went ahead and did it because I like sex. 
Oh, it's true. And that's I, true. and I, I gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep that sex train rolling. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? You just got to. That's how I get Jay to keep doing the channel, actually. <clears throat> yeah, but it's not, it's getting kind of stale lately. You gotta oh, mix well, that I'll, up a little I'll, bit. I'll, I'll switch it up. I'll try. I'll get a new, I'll get a new dress. That's I got like a summer dress that you yeah, can, you just can throw wear up. some fucking lipstick, you whore. <laughs> <laughs> just try a little. <laughs> uh, you said you like the residue on your shaft. <laughs> I know that's um, true. I gotta be careful. <laughs> what? I'm like Ryan Gosling up here with lipstick all over my face on my knees in front of Jay. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's an image. 20th anniversary of Freddy versus Jason. Damn, where did time go, dude? We're getting old as fuck, Eduardo. It's just happening, <clears throat> you know. And, and there we, we go, to... ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Eduardo Santiago, oh! for making us feel old as dirt. Shit, fuck, dude. I'm gonna be 40 in February. Yeah. 40! Fucking 40. Fuck, dude. I got no 401k. I got nothing put away. I'm flying on the fumes of my ass here. I got no direction in my life. What the fuck is going on? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just an average American. Hey, but soon our car insurance will go down, I guess. Well, you know, I did have a hit. And stuff. I, at least I paid my car off, though. There you go. Yeah. Usually people be like, yeah, but dude, shit, dude. When I was like 27, like, I own my own house. I had like a fucking 401k. I had like a goddamn, I was invested in the spot. Well, fuck you and your happy fucking life, you motherfucker. Yeah, that, that guy sucked. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Me and Mike are like the fucking older, fatter versions of Justin Long and waiting. <laughs> And when that guy comes in, that's more successful. You need this he, more than I do. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Just take it back. Just take it back. <laughs> <clears throat> One day I'm going to be an assistant manager of Big Lots. You have no idea. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make it. I'm going to climb to the top of the mountain. Uh, Jay Scott. Thanks, buddy. Says, watched a kid eat a whole pack of raw wieners one time. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, I, I, Jay, I'd, I'd like it if you stayed out of my personal affairs. Uh, he says, which explains why he was always pantsing kids at gym class. Yeah. You know what? I like. I want to hate that guy, but honestly, he sounds kind of cool, Jay. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah. Well, first, yeah. I mean, dude. I mean, he was exploring. He was yeah, like, I, I like the taste of the wieners, and I want to see what the other little boys' wieners look like. And maybe he grew up to be a doctor. Did he eat them all at once? Because did he shove the whole thing in his mouth? That's a lot of dick. I mean, a lot or of just, wieners, or just one at a time. Because either way, it's fucking gross. But it's far more impressive he did it all at once. And Long honestly, wieners. kind of a turn on. Here's the thing, by the way. What? I, I have this argument. All, yeah, well, definitely. I mean, what? Uh, I, it's that? raw wieners. When you have wieners that are raw, are they cooked? <laughs> I guess they are. You could technically eat They're them pre, raw. It's like Vienna sausages. See, yeah, I've so had it's an like argument with April for a long time. I was like, yeah, if you eat that shit, though, if you eat a raw <laughs> wiener, like that makes you sick. And she's like, no, they're pre cooked. You can eat those fucking. I was like, just because you eat a lot of raw wieners in your life doesn't mean that I'm into <laughs> eating raw wieners. Shut up, dumb, dumb head. Yeah, I was like, you dumb, dumb head. Like, I'm not interested in eating raw wieners just because you think it's safe. There's no way I'm going on the street just eating raw wieners. <laughs> but no, is this true, though? Like, can you just eat raw wieners? Like, if you get a hot dog, right? I don't eat raw hot like, dogs. Can you, I don't know if that was safe, though. I thought you'd get salmonella. I don't think so. Okay. Can you eat raw hot dogs without getting salmonella? Yeah. They're already pre-cooked? Yeah. Wife oh, says they're pre-cooked. Okay, well, We're good to go. Whatever. Well, I'm not putting raw wieners in my mouth. My shit needs to be fucking dressed up a little bit, okay? It needs to be on a date. <laughs> <you know? laughs> not without uh, dinner in a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not without anyway. dinner in a okay, movie. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, interesting side note. Like, yeah, if he ate a lot of raw wieners, he likes to see now he likes to see raw wieners on little boys in gym class. That makes it that makes it yeah, and you know what? This is why you guys come here. It's not just for movies, it's not just for laughter, it's for learning. You're learning yep. about life right now. We just kept you guys safe. And now you can enjoy all the raw dicks you want, wieners, the hot dogs you want. Sean says, Jay, have you been staying at your parents or just new desk location? Hope all is well, brother. Also, what up, Mike and Wham Fam? Is it fucking fall yet? Yeah, dude, it's getting there. It's starting to feel fucking crispy outside. No, dog, so like, close. I got kicked out of my house. It's just the, the, the room I live and sleep in. <laughs> Actually, Jay lives with me now, and this is he's just in my attic. This is what it is, then. I mean, what, 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 you don't like it? You don't like it? You can suck my butt cheek. <laughs> Both of them in your mouth at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking horse. Why gotta horse. bring up my real life? Nah, I'm trying nah. to escape here. Nah, I mean I've I told my story before about what's going on, but yeah, um, no, nah, I just I, I moved to, to a different location. I was tired of people seeing my shitty bed. <laughs> I felt like some kind of fucking poor broke ass sleeper. Jay's actually living in one of those like uh uh not not trailers. It's a bungalow. But, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a bungalow. Like the, the tra what do you fucking call those things? God damn it! The the square metal containers containers. Shut up! 
not no something else jacob says by the way jay you're in my thoughts man sorry for your loss hope it's getting better stay positive mike thanks for your kind words on jim the song it's about his cat mm, yeah thank you man i appreciate that thank you uh eduardo says blue chew is cheaper by the way i don't need viagra yet praise jesus Woo! uh got that going for me uh um, no, no i don't know fam I, I, that's not what i heard oh no no hard as a rock every time i watch w i gotta stop fucking watching gtrp <laughs> i say fucking fam and shit like that like that guy's dude you better watch yourself you're gonna yeah, i know you're dude, gonna sound like ben all time because the guy plays a character called g white and like he's like he's like a he's like a frat boy that joined the gang and he talks like and he started learning words like real talk and real shit <laughs> i gotta it's stop like, watching it it's like when you binge watch fucking sopranos and like it's like wife's like do you want frozen pizza forget about it dude like dude, no that's yeah that's how it was like after i watched uh eight mile in the theater for the first time i walked out <laughs> at the theater i'm like what's up y'all you know what i mean it's a whole new fucking world you know i fuck the cops <laughs> fuck the popo i ain't giving one fuck about they talk and they reality, <laughs> my reality is getting ahead, getting number one. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, real shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Um, Will McSwain, he's just like, hey, look hey, at me. I'm hey, fucking handsome. And Will that's McSwain, all you need to know. Will McSwain. That's, that's the intern kind of sexy face that you want right yeah. there. Lead singer Jimmy Eat World here in our chat tonight. We are lucky. We are lucky. We are lucky. Ben Jam and Not Tramer says, ready to have a good night with you boys. Have you ever watched Letter Kenny? <laughs> I, I watched like three episodes of it and I did not go back to it because it sucked. I not, not gone back. Didn't try that in a small town. I didn't go back to mm. it because, um, uh, I just forgot it about it, but it was <clears throat> funny when we watched, oh. it's like weird Canadian humor, but like, it's, it's this dude who lives in this fucking redneck town. And literally he's like, he's like, Hey, they said that you were the, uh, the best fighter, the best fighter guy in the uh, town. And he's like, yeah, I am. And then this guy, Joe wants to challenge you. And like this guy comes over to his farm and they just like go out and they just like throw up hands and he just beats the shit out of the guy. And he's like, Is it a cartoon? All right, have a good day. No, it's a, like, it's like Napoleon oh. dynamite UFC. It's the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. But What's it on? Uh, Hulu TV idiot. Hulu. <laughs> oh, I don't have Hulu. I, want to say so I guess I can't watch uh, it. By the way, Ben Jamin, not Tramer. You look like, like you, like the profile pic that you chose when Ben Tramer's like walking across, that looks like somebody that would call you. Hey, hey, Ben Tramer. You would stop. It's like, it's Ben Jammin, not Tramer. <laughs> and then you get hit by a car. And then you just like, and then you just keep walking on like peasants. <laughs> uh, Christopher Sampson, fly me to the moon like that bitch, Alice Crampston. Thanks, buddy. Always yeah, so kind to us. Says, guys, how are you? Doing Do good, you think dude. someone in Hollywood would be in a, will be an adult and demand original thought? Mm -hmm. Jay, how do you think Dr. Loomis would counsel Trump with all of his indictments? Oh. Yes, that's going to be great. Mike, how was the Blink-182 show? Uh, I will go first and let Jay fall into his let character. Let me stew on that shit. This should me. be a good one. <laughs> uh, but fucking Blink show was amazing, dude. It was everything I wanted it to be. Uh, cried like a schoolyard bitch and uh, at the, by the end of the show. And also uh, took our 13-year-old who's listened to Blink with, with me her entire life. And she even cried. And it was a beautiful fucking moment. And the seats were great. And Blink was great. And they were funny. And they sounded good. And I'm going to come right now just thinking about it. Oh. I just came. Yeah, I heard it. It went. It <laughs> gross. Is that what yours does? So it's gross. Like you're squeezing no, a Capri Sun no, full of jello. Mine, mine's no. It like yeah. It, it it it. There's no sound. It's just a silent film. Yeah, it's just a silent <laughs> film. When it comes out, it looks like a creature coming out from like the sewer. It's like a, a like a little. You know, like the you know, like Ace Ventura when nature calls and he's like, Ooh, and his face is coming out of the <laughs> rhino's ass. That's what the car ah. looks like. Yeah, just like slow Mount Vesuvius drip. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as far as like Loomis would counsel Trump with his indictments, he's like, <laughs> all right, so here's what you got to do here, Donald. All right, so first off, Hillary framed you. That we know that. Uh, you go in there, he's like, I didn't do shit. Uh, this is uh, Ron Dissectimonious, uh, his, uh, his uh, anger. He's allowing this to happen. He's put this in motion. Uh, Sleepy Joe is still asleep at the wheel, and he's slept. Uh, indictments to me. Uh, and third, fourth, uh, I would also say uh, buy off some goddamn jurors. Buy them! You have the money, you idiot. And, uh, you know, fifth here, I'd say uh, stop breaking the law, asshole! What are you doing? You're gonna get caught! Your goddamn name is Donald Trump. You have name on a building in New York City. You don't think someone's gonna notice? 
when you do something illegal. Dumb. Anyway, that would be my advice. I would say, sit there, take it, and then say, uh, fuck you, I didn't do it. It was that guy. And point I don't know, to another I don't... person. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the fact that that you're nicer to, to Trump than you are to Michael. Makes me makes me question because Trump, Dr. Loomis's politics. Listen, okay, Michael <laughs> is a goddamn hemorrhoid scab on the underbelly of the earth. Trump is a hemorrhoid, but not a, a not a hemorrhoid scab. You see, <laughs> and also if Trump fell over dead, it's that head. <laughs> Not not according to the people who were at the, the door of our never mind. Brandon Ferguson. Yeah, I don't want to hear about January 6th. Wayans and scary movie. You won't get butt naked and wrestle. <laughs> what's yeah. what's oh, up? Yeah. Here? <clears throat> you won't get butt naked and wrestle. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, it actually reminds it. I think me. I think we all should get butt naked and wrestle when we meet up at Scarefest. Dude, that would be a fucking convention. It's like, so what do you guys do? Like sign autographs for like 60 bucks a pop? Yeah, no, real. everything. And we let everything's free. put shit in our ass. I mean, we put shit in their ass. I mean, we yeah. just have a good time. Yeah, we just run out into an open uh into an open arena and we're all butt naked and we just wrestle each other. It's like <laughs> Royal Rumble of Wham fans. It's kind By of the way, do. I want to point out the fact that uh that's the political shit's a joke, all right. It's all fucking jokes. We hate all politicians. Yeah, so. it's literally a fucking joke. I, fuck them all. I don't give a fuck about any of them. They're all lying, cock sucking, dirt bag yeah. motherfuckers that steal from everybody. So fuck them. If someone says, What's your stance on politics? I say, Nope. <laughs> My stance nope. on politics? Uh, Take politics out of the goddamn question. Move on with your life. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't have nothing mm -hmm. to say on it. Good old Brand Ferguson, who, by the way, appreciate Holy him. shit, dude. You've got a fucking disease in your brain. You literally just read that. You literally just did that. Did you quantum leap, you motherfucker? Are you Scott Bakula? I'm having a panic attack right now. Oh, my <laughs> God, sorry. dude. You uh, just read that. I do want to say, by the way, Brand, thanks thanks to Brandon for helping us try to figure out the capture card shit. He's even yeah. sent me the link to the one to get and all that. Uh, so if we if it works, it'll be because of him. The you said you only, it was only, only 30 bucks. Yeah, it was only 30 bucks. I don't Damn, know if dude, it was, I was gonna get one on, on fucking Amazon. It was like over a hundred bucks. Well, yeah, that's that. what, yeah. And we may not even need it if this uh if this cloud thing works for us. We yeah. may be able to do it without it all. Uh my problem is my TV and Xbox all the way across the other side of the fucking room. The problem, so I gotta get a new HDMI well, cord to reach and fucking the problem with the cloud though. I play with GTA on the cloud. I was I actually played it a couple of nights ago. Like it will it works, like it works fine, but there are like glitches in it. Because it's coming from a server and it's only in beta, so you gotta remember that it's like it's it's you're streaming it off a server somewhere right. else. It's not like so it's not gonna be so. They even says that when you're done with your session, it's like, do you want to install? And then I'm like, no. You, maybe if you install it, it'll be better. That's why that's what it would be better. But so if you did, it, then you would install it. If we did it, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and install it? I, I put it in my butt last night. Fucking install it. Mm -hmm. And start. Shut it. Says, super chat quickie before i go to sleep don't you talk to me like that this is my worst times brought me to this channel and i'm still grateful for you to giving meaning to those sucky times have a fun stream love love you hey thank, thank you, you vanessa, vanessa. that's really nice and sweet of you thank you that that was that was we don't get a lot of wholesome moments on this channel very, very often so appreciate not you. at all not at all and jake sometimes can't even take the whole thing you know um i don't usually i gotta inch know, it I, in bit i don't bit. know how to talk to girls so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some of my Capri Sun? <laughs> it's really thanks, good. Bye. I got it out of the vending machine. It was only 75 cents, but you can have a sip or two. Just don't drink <laughs> the whole thing because I only had a dollar and now we have a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too, Vanessa. Thank you so much for the support and hanging out with us. Hell Raiders says skis, huh? They yours? Both of them? Cool. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Old dumb and dumber. That was that was like that's like the perfect example of somebody that doesn't know how to talk to a chick and what they would do. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Like you're trying to like figure out how to break that ice. Just give her the goddamn number. <laughs> well, if you're gonna have an attitude about, it, I, no way. It's, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Austin. Thanks, buddy. He says you guys seen the trailers for MK1. That is Mitchell Kensington Club. Mike Mortal Kombat uh, yep. one uh, human reptiles back Close. baby. We should also rank all the classic Street Fighter, Street Fighter, MK Tech, and Virtue Fighter. Okay, so Austin, you bring up a great point, and I appreciate it. We can't do that, but I appreciate it. And here's the point: 
<laughs> the point is, I fucking forgot to put the ticker up. Behold! The ticker! Oh. God, we're so fucking fancy, I can't taste it in my mouth. But, oh shit, there it goes again. Fuck. Um, but it's back. And also, so the thing is, here's what we're going to do tonight. We'll get back to the super titties in just a second. Um, but the plan tonight, my friends, is to don't fucking look at me when I'm talking. Get your ass in the kitchen where Avert you are. Avert your eyes, woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, please don't withhold sex or other lovely things the that you got the power. Like they really do. do. Like, you have no idea. Like so easy to control, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, I was talking to Thor. Ah, yeah. Well, they do too. Like Mike likes to get his dick sucked on by fucking. You know, he puts peanut butter on there and like goes to town. <laughs> But I'm saying, like women do, though, for real. You all control the power. You all don't think you do, but you all controls that power. I got the power. Dun, 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 dun. They saw you Bobby. They, know. they don't need you. Fucking, by the way, I didn't see. They don't fucking uh, need you. I didn't see the MK1 trailer, Austin. It looks badass, but Human Reptile is fucking badass that he's back. As far as rank the classic fighters, uh, number one's Raiden. Dude, I have not seen it either. Uh, the number one classic fighter would definitely not be fucking Raiden. Oh it my would god, be dude, a, Scorpion. Pussy. Get over here is a fucking unstoppably cool. Yeah, but then you guys. got. Oh, God. No, that's fucking. That's the other guy. Street Fighter. Yeah. No, what the fuck did he say when he like when he like flew through the air? It doesn't matter. We. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Is that one. it? Is that no, it? That was it. I got it. Nailed it. Whoopee. Fucking nailed it. Um, no, Austin, but you brought up a good point. So what we're doing tonight is, and thank you, buddy. Uh. By the way, he also says, when I was a kid, my Sunday school teacher called me 8-Ball. Now I do. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not cool of them to make drug references Damn, to Austin, children. The Can you get us there? What are you doing, name? bro? You can't we'll be doing drugs on, on the on church property? Um, but yeah, no, what I was going to say was, um, so the way we're going to do this is, if you'll notice, by the way, <laughs> uh, a new tier has been added. Uh, as per the request of our lovely audience members. Oh, and yes. um, we have a new tier here. Uh, and it goes from all-timer to a secondary tier called Almost Touches the Sun. <laughs> the the sun twins. sucks. Uh, almost Touches the Sun. And then we got Pretty Rad, which is pretty awesome. I just couldn't fit awesome in there. Fuckable and Sucks My Butt Steve. So we have a brand new tier. It's going to change the whole dynamic and everything. And tonight we decided, hey, fuck it. We're just going to let you guys pick. That's fun. We'll rank whatever you want. We pick a movie. Shit. <clears throat> pick a movie. Pick food. Pick a food. Pick, pick a fucking shoe. I don't give a shit. Whatever you guys want. You say it. We're gonna fucking rank it. But the only kicker is we can't do like you can't be like rank the entire Fast and Furious franchise because yeah, that's, you know. obviously, <laughs> like it would it would take too long. So you can pick like two, actually two wouldn't it be Fast and Furious, uh, Tokyo Drift, and then everything else sucks after. <laughs> Jay, you're missing the fucking point. God mm -hmm. damn it. Uh, what I'm trying to say is yeah. You know what I mean? I, I just yeah, just pick one or two things, two things at the most, two things. You can't yeah, don't be like a hey, rank the Puppet Master franchise, and also my father's greatest moments in the sun. I don't what? Know where I was going with that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. So for instance, you could pick a fucking fast food or a fucking movie or fucking whatever. Uh, yeah, just pick some shit. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't a fucking video matter. Game, a fast food restaurant, a clothing brand, your favorite drug whatever good yeah sure um sure yeah by the way are you drinking bush light now that's that's my new beer you sell that's my out, new beer motherfucker. Uh, what why is that a sellout why because you were, you were drinking light? bud light are you afraid of gay people i wasn't drinking bud light i never <laughs> fucking bud light <laughs> i'm kidding uh, it's funny because cody's drinking bush light now too try that in a small town no i always drink fucking miller light and then it gave me uh, i realized it was giving me awful terrible no good very bad hangovers so i stopped drinking it uh I I, so, I I had something else in my mind. I was looking at my hair in the mirror. Like I literally look like I got fired from the IRS with my hair. <laughs> I don't know why it looks like that, dude. But you know, like you know, like like you would imagine. Like I look like an IRS agent. Uh, Christopher Sampson says, "Onion rings, for instance. Where would you rank onion rings as far as like side dishes go?" Uh, I think I think onion rings are is is pretty rad. Like I I just I mean I feel like you can you can do. A lot with onion rings. I think that you can make onion rings pretty spectacular with seasonings and such. But I think that onion rings ultimately just taste the same no matter what. So there's, I mean, they're still pretty rad though. They're just not to me. You can't do much with onion rings to make them 
distinctive and uh, and amazing uh, from another onion ring. You know what I mean? Like I've had Dairy Queen's onion ring, and I've had like McDonald onion ring. I mean, McDonald never had no onion ring, uh, but I mean Dairy Queen onion <laughs> ring. I had I had I had no no I had no I had no no I had no no I had stick down to the onion right. Uh, but I had, uh, but I've had Dairy Queen onion roll, and then you've had like Burger King had onion roll, and then Wendy's had onion roll. Uh, yeah, and they all taste the fucking same. I would agree with you. I would actually move to. I would say that they're actually more fuckable because, like, onion rings. Oh are yeah, fine. Man, it is fuckable. Yeah, man, they're so, good. But like, does so. anybody ever get excited about a fucking onion ring? And they're a. They're not healthy. So like, well, you know, nothing. Obviously. Nothing at a fast food restaurant is healthy. Right, but like onion rings from even a restaurant. Uh, like you can, there are better versions of onion rings. Like a fast food onion rings, like soggy and shitty. You get like a uh, like a blooming onion, like fucking type. That's of onion not onion ring. ring though, technically. No, but I mean like that level of crisp, that yeah. level of fucking culinary arts is put into an onion ring and it's super crispy and it's juicy on the inside it's got the but Gordon also, Ramsay come in it yeah yeah that's a problem too though you bite into an onion ring at a restaurant it's too hot you get that onion juice and it burns your that's fucking what I, I think that's where I, I think that's where I have an issue with onion rings dude is I think that the onion rings I think that it's the, the deep fry holds too much oil like yeah. when you bite it's just the, the grease like turns your stomach and the worst part is, is that when you chew into it, you bite it. And sometimes if it's not perfectly right, you actually just get the onion and then you have to suck the onion out of the breading. Yeah, and the like only the, thing you want to suck is a dude, but I mean, not an onion. Right. Right. Yeah. And it tastes like yeah. your ex-boyfriend. And then like, what? Yeah. You, what? What? Oh, what I meant? No. Shut, I like fries better. Yeah. You I'm going to say it's fuckable. And I feel I like. like I, I, I'm not agree. I think it's fuckable. I think it's fuckable. Yeah. Just fuckable. Uh, that's as good as you get on your rings. You get down in there and you're you know that's gonna get that, you know it's funny because it, this is all like for fun and games, but that's really gonna piss somebody off because there are like <laughs> hardcore <laughs> simps for fucking onion rings. You all have no idea. There's a whole sub community for it. They like trade fucking pictures of onion rings on TikTok and like on fucking yeah. Reddit and 4chan. They're gonna yeah. it's gonna piss off some motherfucker. But like, you yeah. guys don't even know. What the fuck? You never had a good. By, by the way, I know there's like variation. There's like a loaded onion ring, but dude, I mean, you can only, you can only <laughs> do so much with the motherfucker. Stacy, I'm proud. not attacking you, bro. <laughs> Calm down, bro. <laughs> uh, thanks, I, I, oh fuck you, thanks, dude. killing. Fuck uh, you, ro robot. All right. Oh god, I, dude. I know exactly what yeah. to do with thanks, killing. And, and there that was is... a thing below. Sucks my butt. If it was just like, fucking put it in the blender, then drink it, and then suck my butt after you vomit it out thanks killing yeah, would go under sucks my butt steve yeah thanks killing is is one of the absolute worst movies i've ever seen and you know what it's not even very entertaining as a bad movie it's just no, kind of gross awful. like i don't want to see a turkey rape people bro <laughs> like, I'm not it was literally that. it's literally it like, was like it was like a fucking chore to go like to actually it was like my it's like being in your own wedding you have to go through a fucking <laughs> chore just to get the pussy at the end of the night. And you're like, we've been fucking for like how many years and we got to now do a ceremony and shit? Can we just fucking call it in? Can we do it's an like audible? Being, it's like being in your own wedding. Yeah, fuck Thanksgiving. It's absolutely... That's a, that's a terrible it's a, movie. It's absolutely... It sucks my butt, Steve. Um, so that's where Thanksgiving goes. Uh, thank you for reminding of, uh, us of that. Um how about uh let's see here uh there was a super chatted one uh so yeah you guys just name out whatever you want to yeah, obviously we'll do the super chat ones first but we'll also do those ones uh nwo and dx Ooh, NWO, this is fun nwo this is entertaining nwo all day long uh, uh nwo no not which life. one rank them both rank oh them fuck both. oh okay so we'll start with nwo okay nwo to me is an all-timer like straight up nwo is an all-timer all right i know it really is but nwo NWO literally made WCW Monday Night uh, Raw, or not? Well, not uh, Monday Night Nitro beat Raw in the ratings. Like NWO, that whole storyline was so unique, so cool, so interesting. The characters, the side pieces, everything they had going for them, the story writing was fucking phenomenal, dude. It was global. It was phenomena. It's it, it's it's an all timer. DX, in my opinion, great, awesome, but it was just tapping into the like the the heathen side of the time of the youth. So it's pretty rad. It's not like it was like a fucking like NWO was like something special. It was like a brand new like um like journey to the to the sun uh versus like it, DX is like another fucking Starbucks opened up. Um yeah. So I mean, and again, I know people are going to disagree with that like I have suck it. Yeah, it was cool, but do the NWO had like so much better writing in my opinion. Like 
the fuck the fucking Hulk Hogan turn heel was I, insane. I'd say I'm going to say NWO is absolutely an all timer. There's no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone had the fucking shirt, dude. You had to have the shirt. It was glow in the dark. I puked on mine during a seventh grade band trip. True story. I ate the chicken at Dollywood and had food poisoning. And I leaned over my bed and on top of my fucking suitcase, which I puked inside of, was my coveted NWO shirt. One of the most depressing moments of my fucking life. I thought life. it was after you sat on your camp counselor's lap. Uh, well, don't. Uh, that's that. <laughs> those are hurtful memories. It's like, oh my god, damn. That's none of your business. Uh, no, yeah, NWO was no doubt an all timer. I agree with you. Sticker in Sam. That's not what I meant to make that sound like. In the case of DX, uh, I personally, I would say, it's look, rad. I, I think it's rad. I, I, I yeah. <clears throat> I border on Touches the Sun and Rad, but I will say pretty rad as well. The intro music, fucking awesome. Really good. The Suck It is one of the beautiful, most beautiful. They, they basically created their own middle finger, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, how fucking great was that? Yeah. Um, I like the bright green on the black. Uh, X-Pac always got on my nerves. He looks like he smelled. Um, he de- Yeah, he definitely smelled like pee. Yeah, but never. Like, it was that was perfect. Shit, it, well, it, it was love suck. It. it was X Pac, too. X Pac, yeah, yeah. It, it, like, that made me mad. It was like, dude, fuck you. You're like one, two, yeah. three kid. Two I love DX. I love DX. I'm gonna put him in pretty rad as well, though. Um, well, yeah, like, like DX was like, uh, like another Spencer to open up in the mall. You're like, so what? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I know that we we set up we set up pretty much a limit at two, but this is a this is a very easy three to do, and you you do have to have them all. Creasefold says, "How about damn, the homeward bound pets? How about the God pets? damn fucking Kreis. homeward down? I love it. I this love is what I'm talking about. Movie. Homeward bound is one of those movies that like I could literally turn to the end of that movie the last 25 minutes and I'll cry every fucking time. And by the way, it gets girls to cry every time. If you're looking for that one, you know that you want a girl being vulnerable, you like just turn that that shit on." Oh my god, dude! That sounds weird. That arm in, you're like, oh, it made me sad too. I remember my dogs, but dude, uh, the homeward bound, a chance, shadow, and sassy. Yeah, let's go Uh, chance first because chance chance is a chance is a fucking old timer. -timer. Chance is an old timer. Chance is the best fucking dog of all time. He's an OG. He knows what's going on. He's got a he's got a fucking badass voice. He's got a leadership quality about him. Shadow Leonardo. Yep, shadow is an old timer. Oh shit! I put I I wrote chance down. That was weird. Well, fuck Uh, you. Shadow, yeah, dude, the sweetest. He's such a good boy. Shadow is the, it was every, he was the good boy of everyone's good boy. Yep. He was the sweetest fucking dog in all the land. And yep. if it wasn't for that fucking dog, those other, that dog and that stupid ass cat would have never fucking gotten anywhere. They would have gotten hit by a car. It would have been awful. And They'd the have ended up cried. in somebody's egg roll. It would have been a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would have been uh, an absolute fucking yeah, bloodbath. It's shadow. It's shadow, dude. It's shadow. All, all, all day, all timer. Get up there, you son of a all bitch. Right. Uh, Hell yeah, off. I, get down. You're I mean, not a good boy. I, I got I gotta go piss real bad, but I'm gonna, okay. I'm, gonna throw it, I'm gonna throw in my votes real quick for chance. Give it to me for my chance. For my chance, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna say chance almost touches the sun because chance was a good fucking boy and he was really fun. And Michael J. Fox has a has a very energetic voice as voicing chance. I'd hang out with chance all fucking day, dude. Shadow is like the old timer Obi-Wan Kenobi, chance like the Luke Skywalker. He's the next generation. He's gonna be yeah. the good boy, old man. Obi Wan at one day, but right now he's got the energy, he's got the style, he's gonna get him through with the energy. It's chance and sassy, sassy's fuckable. That's it. I don't care about sassy. I'm not a cat person. You trying fuck to fuck cat, bro? Now fuck pussies. <laughs> I'm all about that dick. I mean, I'm all about. I'm all about really I'm all awesome all girls. About that but no, page. but she, but I never liked. I never liked sassy. Dude. I think sassy was like she was just like a whiny little. You know, yeah. fucking like you know valley girl or something i don't know fuck yeah her. yeah you're, you're right. go go ahead go pee but right. i'm just gonna say right now i totally agree uh we're in the same boat that's where they're right. gonna go chance look a chance is fun Ch- and chance is like if fucking shadow is michelangelo then chance is no if shadow is leonardo then chance is no doubt michelangelo we all know that and i guess you could say sassy's Raphael, but like she doesn't really fit it i don't know like Chance is, he's fun as shit. He would not be a very fun dog to own though if you were the parent, because like he's a mess. He's gonna get shit everywhere. He's gonna chase skunks. He's gonna get porcupine pins in him. Um, I basically own a Chance and a Shadow. Thor would be my Shadow, and um, Hella would be Chance. So uh, I feel like this. This should. This is kind of fucked up. I hope they don't. They're not listening right now. But I totally agree with Jay. Chance goes in pretty rad. Um, kind of a mess. Not the smartest dog you've ever seen in your life. But lovable nonetheless, and 
God love you. It's like the Michael J. Fox of dogs. Although Michael J. Fox would be an all-timer. You get the fucking point. You know what I mean, right? Um, but yeah, he has like Michael J. Fox's kid personality. It's weird. Did Michael J. Fox sound chance or am I losing my shit right now? Did that actually happen? Oh my God, Michael J. Fox was chance, wasn't he? What in the Mandela fuck is going on in my brain right now? Anyway, Sassy is definitely just going to go to the, I don't even want to say it because it sounds weird, but yeah, just, you're fine. Like, I'm glad you didn't die. All right. I'm glad you didn't get drowned in the river. All right. But you were kind of bitchy the entire time and you're a little bit full of your fucking self. So just go down there to fuckable and, and be happy you didn't get put in sucks my butt, Steve. Stupid cat. I'm a dog person. You know what I mean? I'm a fucking dog person. I'm going a little bit backwards in the chat. Um, because we got a little bit twisted here. Oh my God. Jerry Ramey says, Hey, thanks buddy. Appreciate it. And appreciate you says, um, what's the next Halloween script review? Ooh, that's a good question. There are still more to do, right? There's always Halloween scripts to do. I will go ahead and venture to say, we'll at least do one during Halloween horror month this month, which we really got to get to working on. We got to get started on that. Uh, for real it's like a four-year-old version where he's like no i still haven't slept with the movies like how old are you he's like 40 years old he's like oh shit man you've got to get on that we really got to start getting work in on it for sure um it's in a trying time but we yeah we're gonna and it's gonna be fucking awesome and it's gonna be the best one yet because that's the way you gotta look at shit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dj graham says dudes i personally never fucked a girl in a bathroom you know what I mean. Uh, maybe you have. I fear the fudge room is a different feeling from the marshmallow room. Is that true? A marshmallow? I've, I've never heard of a woman's <laughs> mentioned as a marshmallow. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, I'm trying to. I'm just going to go fuck a bag of marshmallows now. I don't. Yeah, that's. Unless it gets sweat. You know what? <laughs> yes. Yes. Have. Not my favorite. Not something I'm like, that's, I need to do that. You know, uh, there's been times where it's been like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to definitely let Jay answer this as well. Where it's like, you know what? I got to find out. I got to know. And then there's other times where it's like, I just want to do something I'm not supposed to fucking do right now. And uh, that's happened before. Uh, I got a whole story about that that I've told on the Patreon several times, where it accidentally went there on the on the at the at the like on, not on purpose. Uh, first time I tried to do that, um, too much lube was used and it slipped all the way in, and it was not pleased, uh, not liked that sort of thing. She was not a happy person, and it did not go well. And uh she yeah it was fucking hilarious but in all the wrong ways and that was a whole some of you guys have heard that story <laughs> uh i i have friends who have way worse stories than that and they involve actual poop michael parton says sausage saturday is way better than taco tuesday uh that's where you and i tend to agree i mean disagree what i don't know what you're talking about i like all foods Austin says, when I was a kid, my Sunday school teacher called me. Eight. Oh, we, we got to see I'm going backwards. I'm all fucked up in the head. For sure. Um, <laughs> but hey, DJ, I, I, you know, I would say I could try it sometime, man. Try it sometimes. Eventually, you're young. You know, I don't know how old you are, actually. But maybe there will be a day when some girl's like, hey, DJ Graham. <laughs> I want you to put your DJ. I want you to shove your. I want you to stick your DJ Graham thing right up, right in my the, the back door of my yoga studio, and then you'll be like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do it." Um, but it's not necessary. Don't let your friends tell you you have to do it. You know what I mean? Don't let your friends say like it has to be done. It's not. It's not like the Niagara Falls. Like you don't have to fucking see it. Like you can live your whole life with ever without ever putting a P in a B, and I promise you're gonna be just fine. If any of you out there, just a PSA for everyone listening, if you've never put your P in a, in a person's B, it's not like a fucking must do situation. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to do it. It's not like going to Disney World or watching The Sopranos for the first time or 
trying peanut butter and jelly or I don't know what I'm talking about. Sean Higginbotham says, also, do you know of Romero's Kentucky? I don't. What the fuck is that? I will fucking Google it. Romero's Kentucky, which is where we live. Don't come to our houses. Um, it's a fusion restaurant in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Is that what you mean? Because I'm not gay, so I don't eat it. That, is that, that's just a gay thing, right? This is like a restaurant for the gays. I mean, I'll go and support it, but I've never eaten there, Sean. Just kidding. Fusion's like, what is it, like fucking Vietnamese? And today we're mixing it with corn chips. I don't know what the fuck Fusion is, but it sounds like something I wouldn't enjoy. But if you own that, I'm sorry, and I'm going to go tomorrow. Branson Wright Wolf, have you guys ever seen Music of the Heart? It's a musical drama. Wes Craven directed it. It came out in 1999. If you've seen it, what are your thoughts? I watched this a fortnight and seven years ago when I was at work once, and I did this article on all the Wes Craven movies, and I watched it, and I thought it was touching, and it was sweet, and I can't remember a fucking thing about it. So that's that's what I'll say. But like like Wes Craven does, man, even his shitty movies, like they have just a, a soul to them. You know what I mean? And I, I felt that way about it, too. It was a nice little sweet, like family, like semi comedy, just like music movie about life. Was Rosie O'Donnell in that fucking movie? Am I thinking of M. Night Shyamalan's weird movie that he directed? Was it directed higher? Either way, I saw it and I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Not my thing. But I enjoyed it for what it was. You know what I mean? Wyatt Alley says he just got out of Blue Beetle. That movie was so good. Sucks that it released during these shitty times of Hollywood. Highly recommend. We talked about that a bit earlier. Why I can't bring myself to not watch another goddamn standard uh, superhero origin movie. I just can't fucking do it. But I'm happy for the movie that it's doing well and for people that enjoy it. I hope it's doing well, at least, <clears throat> for their sake. Jay's not doing well. Did you take a poop? Did you Did you have a painful shit? Yes. What's up, Shari? <laughs> we'll talk real shit. I miss y'all. You gotta stop watching that fucking game, dude. I, I'm gonna have to stop watching. I know. Real talk. Real talk. Uh, we've gotten to a couple after this, but you'll remember them as you get to them. Uh, I do want to point out an interesting super chat um, from um, uh, before I go. I've already given given my. Uh, oh, if their shit, name was uh, Stacy. I didn't know who the fuck they were. I wasn't even there. <laughs> Sean Higginbottom also said, by the way, Mike and Jay is the Kentucky version of me and my friend from Georgia. Friend literally poopied himself. Every Eve 6 Blink movie reference split at birth. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah! We'll hang out with you guys. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll go start a, a tag team wrestling championship together and we'll fight, but it'll be as friends. Oh, did you watch the New Hills? No, I'm going to watch it tonight, though. <laughs> so don't tell me shit, you God dick. damn, dude. Is it amazing? Am I oh, in real for a treat? It's really good. Real shit. Stop saying that, Jay. <laughs> God damn it. No, dude, it really is good. I'm only gonna say this, dude. Think of the sting, like the sting angle in WCW. Ooh. It's fucking awesome. I like it. New wrestler involved? No, don't tell no, me. Shut the fuck no, up. I'm not saying nothing. Uh, who were we at? What time? Um, well, we are at okay. We are at actually um <sighs> Seven fifty four p.m. Oh. That's where we're at. Uh, so if you catch up to there, but I do want to read one to you and let you give out your opinions at, before you get to that one. All right. Um, you caught up? Yep. Um, Is it Marshall? It's the one about heels. Hmm. Um, fuck. Where'd it go? God. Dude, I swear to God, I'm going to come in this computer. Oh, yeah. I want to watch it. coming in so hard. Oh, my God. I can't wait to put it on Twitter. I was going to finish that up with like a beat your ass, but then I was like. Uh, Elon was Musk. Gonna... Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh. No. What the? Where did it go? How do you burn? How do you burn? Oh, uh, DJ Graham uh, said, dudes, I personally never effed a girl in the beat. Maybe you have. I hear the fudge room is a different feeling from the marshmallow room. Is that true? And I am going to leave myself completely uncomfortable to whatever you have to say and leave now to enjoy my pee pee break. I never done that with a girl, a man, <laughs> not a girl, you idiot. You only put a dick in a man's butt, you idiot. No, I never, I never, uh, yes, I, I did it once. And it was not good. I didn't like it. It didn't feel right. I, uh, it was, my dick was too big. It wouldn't fit. No, 
<laughs> no, I, I don't want, I, I remember like very vaguely. I know that I tried it with like a girl wanted me to do it and then I did it. And then I was like, Ooh, I don't know. And then we kind of, we, we just didn't finish. Like I, I didn't even get it all the way in. I was like, yeah, I don't, I feel like I'm going to break. I'm going to, I feel like I was going to crack her ass in two, like crack it into, I was like, I'm done. Like the head of it wasn't even all the way in. Oh my God. This shit should be 18 fucking plus with like a goddamn NC 17 warning on it. I don't want to get into that, but yeah, I never did. A, I never technically, no, I didn't really. I, yeah, well, I mean, it, it was in there, but I didn't, I didn't really get it all the way in there. So technically I didn't do it, but yeah, I never did that shit. But yeah, I mean, if you like it, then go for it. If she's into it, fuck yeah, dude. Explore your sexuality. Have fun with it, man. You're going to live one time. Have fun with your shit. Uh, literally shit. Because apparently they they you can, they can poop if you ram it too hard. Anyway, uh, Marshall, thank you so much, sir. Says, uh, Heel season one was fun. I'm from Georgia and went to wrestling events back in the day. The end of season one felt rushed. Yeah, um, you got to watch. Like, I feel I feel like what happened with season one, season one was incredible. Heels is is absolutely just an incredible show from top to bottom. It's, the production value is incredibly well done. The acting is superb. They really do care about the subject material that they're talking about. You can tell in the show. But the ending of season one did feel a little rushed. It wasn't really bad, but it was rushed. Um, they kind of make up for that in season two. Uh, and they're exploring more of uh, of the inner workings and, and inner relationships that are going on with the 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 brothers in in the show, as well as the the um, other wrestlers, as well and the uh, com, uh, competing um, wrestling production company that's taking place. I I think, but I I do agree with you. But Hills is it, dude. Hills is such a great fucking show, dude. That show deserves like seven seasons, and it won't get it most likely. I hope that we get at least the third season. But thank you, man. Chris Full says the homeworld bound pets. The homeward, the homeward bound pets. Yes, uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know if you're, I know, I know, I, I know who they are. But yeah, dude, uh, incredible, incredible pets. Love them. Adrian Yabara says rank them. I, I already did that. Did we already answer that fucking question? All right, okay. You go. Mike fucking. He's got too much dick in his mouth. Uh, because they, I, I thought we were, uh, Michael A says, uh, what's up guys? You guys are awesome. Keep up the great works or great works. It's like we were fucking painting. Keep up the great work. Sorry. Where would you rank natural born killers? It's my favorite movie of all time. Natural born killers. Oh, okay. So we can throw that in here. Um, for me, natural born killers is an almost touch at the sun. I think it's an incredible movie. I, I do like it a lot and it, and it does tap into the psychotic nature of what, um, you know, like a serial killer across country serial killers would be like and woody harrelson eats that scenery up like it's nobody's business um and i'll have to like uh let mike uh put his opinion in there but for me natural born killers is a almost such as the sun movie i do like it thank you man um iron samurai coming back in thank you so much says oh wow so <laughs> uh all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna Thumbnail your your comment there, so we Mike and Mike and I can get onto that one. Uh, so hold on one second. Uh, so it's eight oh seven. Let me just do this. Real quick. Oh, I have I have some notes. You hear that? <laughs> I'm literally writing this shit down. Eight oh seven. Eight oh seven. Eight oh seven p.m. That's how fucking afraid of computers I am. I guess I I literally write shit down. Uh, Ryan, thank you so much, dude. Says, uh, have you guys ever seen The Wolf of Snow Hollow? Written, directed, and starring Jim Cummings. Oh. <laughs> Who was one of the cops in Halloween Kills flashback. Great werewolf movie. I personally never seen The Wolf of Snow. It sounds awesome, but it also sounds like somebody that lived in the 80s. It was just a, a, a huge cocaine user and dealer. The Wolf of Snow. That's exact, Dude, imagine if you were a cocaine dealer in the 80s. You would be like The Wolf of Snow. Like if you were like a badass, like, you know, but you had like the Scarface connections. Like, oh, the Wolf of Snow. If you want the best Coke, you got to go to the Wolf of Snow. Anyway, I'm rambling. But, yeah, I've never seen it. This sounds cool. I like werewolf, werewolf movies. So, uh, uh, definitely check that out there, then, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, dude. By the way, your profile pic looks, you kind of look like a, you kind of look like a piano playing Hayden Christensen. And I do appreciate it. Brian Mack. What do you think of Louisville's own Jim Cornette? I love that guy, dude. I think Jim Cornette is fucking comedy gold dude and he's also like such a fountain of of information 
uh, and 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 uh, backstage drama that you had no idea about because they didn't break kayfabe back then. That it's he, his podcast is so interesting. I think that guy is really cool. I'd love to talk to that guy. That guy's seen it all, man. That guy's seen all sorts of shits go down. But yeah, I, I love Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette's cool. Uh, by the way, I wrote it down. Eight oh seven p.m. Who? 8 7 p.m. Hold on. No, it's 8 6 p.m. Real talk. Hold on. Uh, there was another thing. Um, okay. Uh, what do you think about? I put natural born killers. Michael A asks where we would put natural born killers. I put natural born killers at almost such as the sun because I love that fucking movie and it is a really good representation of the serial killer mindset. And Woody Harrelson is awesome in it. Uh, I'm good with that. I, I, I'm good with that too. I mean, it's not my favorite because it's so depressing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's so mean. And it's weird as fuck. Yeah, it's weird and mean. I, I don't like watching it, but as a movie, it's a really good fucking well-made movie. So, yeah. I'm good with that. That's that's where I would put it, too. Let's stick it right in there. And then, uh, thinking about uh, it. 806, uh, there was like a two-part question. So, he's asking, I guess, wanting us to rank these particulars. So... All right, we got Scar from The Lion King and Edge, the movie with uh, Anthony Hopkins, Alex Baldwin, and Bart the Bear. Um, <clears throat> you know what, dude? Let me start with Edge, The Edge, because that movie's fucking awesome. I don't know. I, you know what, to be fair, I've never seen The Edge. So What? It, it, no, dude, I've never seen it. Like it, it sounds like some goddamn like like uh, like a like a like a one hit wonder beer that came out in the late nineties. <laughs> That no one bought. Like they they bought more Zima than the Edge. Dude, I swear to God, I thought that like we've talked about that movie before. I thought yeah. you'd seen that. Well, maybe I, maybe maybe I made it up. <laughs> I tell you what, dude, the Edge is a fucking. Um, I, 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 since since we have this new tier and we're really taking seriously what we put in all timer, I will say almost touches the sun, but it really does almost touch the sun, man. It's such a badass movie. Anthony Hopkins, he's like, we're gonna kill the motherfucker. He's so badass. Is that Alec like Baldwin's so good? I no, I I'm I think I remember seeing the um the cover art for it. Like, was it like in a, a snowy mountain? It wasn't a snowy mountain, but it, they were in the mountains. Yeah, and there oh, was okay. this, so this I, bear attacking yeah. him. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't fuck, dude. It's the greatest fucking movie about a bear of all time. I'm gonna put it in all timer. I'm it's sticking better than it cocaine in. bear, you son of a bitch. It's way better than cocaine bear. Cocaine bear's got nothing on this. They you actually don't know used. You're talking a, about. It's better than the Revenant too. They used the real, real bear, uh, mm. and it's dude. It's so crazy. Like so they used animal abuse to get it to do what they wanted it to do. <laughs> well, why don't we talk about what's that movie where like nine cats died or whatever? It wasn't Homeward Bound, but it was like um, nine cats. Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis. Oh. Like a bunch of cats died making that shit. Um, mm. and then, uh, as far as Scar from the Lion King goes, I think Scar, you got, you got to put Scar, Scare Scar, Scar from the Lion King is probably, he almost touches the sun. I don't feel like he's like, he's a great Disney villain. And I think he was a great, um, antagonist in, in the Lion King. And I love the guy that did the voice acting for him. He's fucking had that creepy ass, like. I'm going to sell you some fucking shitty cars, then come home and fuck your wife when you're not, you know, like he had that great kind of energy, but I, I just don't feel like as an all timer Disney villain, he doesn't make that list. Yeah. I think he, if it was just Disney villains, I think he'd be all timer, but like, as far as just like in general, like scars yeah. great. He's a huge fucking piece of shit. I hate his guts and he was real fucked up, but yeah, yeah I'm feeling almost touches the sun as well. Lion King's one of the only Disney movies that I like, by the way. I'm not a Disney movie guy, but I, I liked do all love of Lion them. King. I, well, I, I didn't like The Jungle Book, didn't like Snow White, didn't like Cinderella. Pinocchio was okay. Dumbo sucked. Uh, yeah, I got like a few. Like Hercules was awesome. Aladdin was great. Lion King's good. Little Mermaid, I do enjoy it. Um, Under the sea. That's about it. 101 Dalmatians. I was never, like everybody loved that shit. I thought that shit was boring. That was depressing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I should talk. The only two I really give a shit about are Lion King and Toy Story. And that's like my two Disney movies. Toy Story, well, that's Pixar. Itself. Right, but still Disney. Shut up. You shut still up. Disney. You shut it's up. a clamshell case. It's shut a clamshell up. Clamshell case. You are a fucking clamshell. Ryan, thank you, buddy. Thank you no, so much. No, I got much. that one. No, I got that one. Oh, well, I'll shut the fuck up and no, just we're good. go die. Now no, we're good. Uh, go after, yeah, go after 807. No, I think we should be good. I just saw, I heard you talking about Jim Cornette. So we got that one. Oh, yeah. Sean, 
Higginbottom says Mike George Romero's son equals Romero's Kentucky. Gay? What? You have smoked yourself retarded. I don't know what you mean, but uh, sure. <laughs> Tom, Tom Gosling, his name's not, and maybe it's Tom T. Gosling. Could be Terry. Could be Tyrannosaurus Rex Cock. Says Scooby Gang. Rank the Scooby Gang. Scooby, oh. Shaggy, Fred. Let's rank them all as a whole. Let's just as a whole. The, the whole Scooby uh, Gang. Yeah, okay. The, the Scooby Gang itself. I Well, all right, man. I was never a huge a Scooby Doo Doo fan. Personally, me I I mean, for me, I'd put it at, for me, I'd put it at fuckable. I'd be fine with putting it pretty rad, but I mean, I never, like set, when the cartoons came on back in the day when I was watching them, like last night, I definitely always skip over Scooby-Doo. Like I, I was waiting on like He-Man or the real Ghostbusters or, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like Scooby-Doo, the Scooby gang just felt like filler, in my opinion. I didn't even know what that word meant back in the day when I was a kid. But that's what it felt like. It was like, oh, well, if you want to get to the good shit, you got to watch the old shitty shit. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you, dude. I've never. And, and by the way, I'm sure other people would rank this way different. Was never a Scooby-Doo guy. I, I like was. the vibe of the show. I like the music. I especially like the simple plan. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. It's coming after you. Let us solve a mystery. I'm just a kid. Um, but other than that, like the gang themselves, take it or leave it. Like I, it's not, I'm not, a, I'm not a big guy. So I'll say fuckable as well. Sorry, yeah, guys. I, you know, maybe if we had grown up when it came, like in the '70s or something, it might be a different type of situation. But I mean, I, I never really gave two fucks about the Scooby Gang. Yeah, that's that's fair. Louis Holt says, "Will you and Mike be doing any more skits on the channel?" Uh, no, nope. yeah, it's dead. No, it's dead, Lori. No, it, we will <laughs> never again. You don't uh, have a police force. <laughs> no, uh, we yes. will. Uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, it's going to be fun to do. I'm very excited about that. I was just talking while you were on break about how we're going to have to get ramped up really soon on Halloween Horror Month this month because mm -hmm. um, it's August and it, that shit comes up quick. Uh, I so I, I can't wait to get together and start filming some skits and shit again. It's going to be a blast in the pants. Mm -hmm. uh, and absolutely, by October, there will be new skits on the channel, Lori. Thank you. Fun. Adrian says, Tear, in, uh, Interstellar, and Contact. Ooh, dude, that's a good one. All right, Interstellar. you do contact because I don't remember it enough. Yeah, I gotta I, watch I, it again. Yeah, yeah, I love contact. Uh, Interstellar, Interstellar is an all timer, absolute fucking all timer, dude. It's one of like Christopher Nolan made such a, an epic space movie, uh, in what in, in what he did with Interstellar. And Matthew McConaughey was amazing. The acting ability was off the charge, charts. Dallas Price Howard was awesome. Uh, the, the soundtrack was killer. It was a heartbreaking movie. It's weird. Which it should have been. It was pretty much the. Uh, it wasn't. It was as close to, in my opinion, what two thousand one Space Odyssey was like when it first came out. Like Interstellar is like the Batman or the Dark Knight of, of space movies. I think uh, it's an all timer. Absolutely all fucking timer. We are gonna have our first poll question tonight because I fucking disagree, Jay. I fucking disagree. Mm. But I will say that it is, in my opinion, almost touches the sun. Um, so I'll put this as a poll for you guys to vote on. But you guys get in on the action a little bit. I've watched it so many times. Like, I literally will go back and watch it. I, I love what they did. Like, even they do their best to explain the black hole thing. Where, like, she goes down to the planet. They, they both do. And, like, years, decades pass by. And they were, they were only down there for a few minutes. It's fucking so crazy, dude. I love, the, the, the part I don't like is when they do the fourth dimension shit. Like, the dimensional shit. I was like, bitch, I'm not trying to take a math quiz. What the fuck is going on? Just have some gray aliens come <laughs> down and say, we've been watching you for a long time. You are worthy. Go back to your planet. Hell, Vulcan, or whatever the fuck. It would have been better with aliens. They were aliens, but they didn't like... Yeah, they, they were like, them. well, they could have been human. They could have been human. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, uh, and that's... I say I liked Interstellar a lot. I, I, I only saw it in the theater. I think that's the only time I ever watched it. I do have it on 4K. I plan to sit down and have a night and watch it. I think it was Christopher Nolan's... One of Christopher Nolan's best movies because he's... I think he poorly puts emotion in his movies. Like, his movies are great, but he doesn't do a very good job at, as, at emotion. I and I think I'm that one, dude. Yeah, this is the one... When Matthew McConaughey's leaving his kid behind and he's crying... No, like when Lincoln. he sees her grown up. Yeah, that's it. Well, that too. And it's sort of pressing at the end. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I... I'll put that to a vote for you guys. What do you you say where uh contact a contact to me is um I think it was ahead of its time, dude. I, I really do. Charlie Sheen in that film, I think that a lot of people overlooked it just because it didn't have maybe the advertising that a lot of other movies had back when it came out. I think it came out in the 90s, mid-90s. I don't remember, but 
I feel like contact uh, for what it for what it is. I mean, they, of course, there was some really bad CGI in it, but I feel like overall the story and 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 how they presented it, I feel like it almost touches the sun personally. I think Contact One, just Contact, not this the shitty sequels. They made a secret great. Contact. They made like three of them, or they made what? two of them for sure. Yeah, no way. I, I had no idea. That's fucking crazy. Uh, I need to rewatch that though. It's just been too long. I can't really comment. Great cast though, McConaughey and fucking Jody Foster. Wait a minute. Oh fuck, dude. I'm sorry. You were thinking guys. of something else. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of uh, Arrival. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, Arrival. I that just wanted Charlie Sheen to be on this list so fucking bad. That no, Arrival kind of sucks. Contact is good. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, Contact is good. It does have an ending that where where you get pissed off about it with the, the the static and all that shit. Contact is still almost touch of the sun. I know the movie. Uh, it was great. I loved it. Um, yeah, I was just thinking of Arrival. I, that, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of Arrival. I would put Arrival in fucking fuckable and nothing better. You so stupid. Piece of shit. God How damn, I'm you? embarrassed. I'm going to go home now. <laughs> oh, I'm already here. Uh, Michael Parton says top, bottom, and verse. I, I imagine he means sexual positions, right? Top, bottom. If you're on top, do you, does that mean you put it in the asshole? No, it just means missionary. I mean, if you, I, I, well, it is Michael, so bottom, he may be talking about men's asshole. sex. Where do you put we it in the asshole? Know. What posi- What position? No, no, I think top is missionary and you're on top, or would you rather be on the bottom? No, like, in Michael's if you're, version, obviously, you're bottom, he needs another bottom. No, I think if you're bottom, I think you take you put it in the ass. If, if you're talking about that, but I'm just talking, in, in art, we only have experience. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if I, I think we only have experience in, in relationships with women. What is verse, though? Is that like reverse? Like smack it up, flip it, and reverse it? Like, let's see. Uh, top, what is, bottom, and verse. Uh, versatile. Let's just do top. Let's no, I think it's like saying versatile. Like, you could do it either one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, all right, I like putting Let's just do it, it this in, way. I like putting it into something warm and wet. So I'm gonna go with whatever that is. Look, whatever that one ra- is, I do that one. That's all timer. About, how about this? How about this? Where in, in 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 missionary? Where would you rank missionary position? Let's do it that. Let's do okay, that. I, I, I missionary missionary for me is like pretty rad. Real talk, <laughs> but I uh, it's not my favorite. Missionary is like. Missionary is like pretty rad because I don't like to look at them in the face too much. Cause I mean, I don't know if I'm causing them pain or if they want to like have like a, like a, a telepathic communication with it. I think it's weird when they're trying to like stare in your eyes and shit. You just want to close your eyes and like just fucking imagining you're having sex with some high Hayek or something like that. You know what I mean? So I don't like that. Uh, so that's definitely a pretty rad cause it still feels good and you're on top and gravity's pushing to come out. So it's going to fucking happen soon. But overall, it's just pretty rad. <laughs> I agree with pretty rad. I'm gonna say pretty rad. Like you, you don't want to go without it. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's not the most exciting. But it's like you, you know when you're trying to learn each other's bodies, trying to learn. Yeah, you know, but that's shit. When they look in start... your fucking eyes, like look at my eyes, like fuck you, bitch. We're not in prison. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever had sex where I, uh, missionaries I where I've looked into someone's eyes. Though. Yeah, but some girl, like some, shit. they get that goddamn. They, they have like their fucking Beauty and the Beast and their bell. From Beauty and the no. Beast, they want to have their romantical moment. Oh, fuck that. It's, I don't like that. It's what it's one thing if you're Uh-oh. having like your rough sex, you're like, hey, fucking look at me. <laughs> look at me. That's scary. <laughs> but, like, dude. That's scary. Loving, I literally like... I got a text from April. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got an email alert. It's like, thank you for your order for Masters of the Universe. Because <laughs> I ordered a, a figurine. <laughs> oh shit. Where where do you rank where do you rank uh girl? Doggy on style, doggy style is all timer. No, that's up. not that's not what doggy style is, Jay. Doggy style is when you're behind her. When the girl's on top, when when you're being ridden by the person. Oh yeah, it's that's a pretty rad. It's pretty rad. All right, Mike, we can only speak to our own. No, wait, no, 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 no. When she's on top, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's that's almost touches the sun because you can turn your head and act like you're in the moment of ecstasy. If you're the guy, you can be like, oh, you don't have to do that eye contact shit. You can just be like, oh, you know, like <laughs> when she's trying, she's trying to make eye contact or whatever. Yeah, you don't yeah. know how to do it. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll go with almost touches the sun too. That 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 that. Works By the way, this is an me. 18 plus fucking stream. I mean, 100 percent. Like, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, just so you know, you know, and there's there's obviously there's variations, but if you're just gonna call it an average, is what it is. Yeah, sure, that works for me. I think that I think those are appropriate. Sorry, Michael, I think we fucked up your question, but we can only answer what we know. Um, 
Iron Baron says, which member of the DCU squad would you want to see get their own solo film? In my opinion, El Diablo would have been a good character he to stand been. on. I did like El Diablo. I, I, I actually, I think he was a really good character. Um, I think Harley Quinn's overdone, overrated. I, I don't. I, I overdone well, already, for sure. She's already done her own solo, right? So it, it, Birds mm-hmm. of Prey, and it really didn't do that well. I I think a good Deadpool movie, not Deadpool, a, a Deadshot movie would do well. Um. If they if they cast it right, you know people that don't beat up smaller comedians and, and things like that. Um, <laughs> but I think I think a Deadshot movie actually he's got a really good dynamic. He's kind of like uh, a very sympathetic villain if you think about it. In the fact that he's trying to take care of his daughter, he does yeah awful things, of course, but he's just doing it in order to take care of his daughter. I think a Deadshot movie would do really well. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you on that one. I think Deadshot's definitely the answer. He's the coolest one out of all of them, in my opinion, for sure. Oh shit, I gotta change my battery before it dies. Ah! No, he's scared. His battery and his vibrator, not the camera. He's been sitting on it this entire time, y'all. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Feel kind of tipsy. I don't know why. I think it's because I I'm, I feel like that's disgusting, dude. Uh, that looks like uh, some shitty Captain Morgan shit that nobody would buy. These shorts are so short. Yeah, I can smell your balls from here, and I want to look. <laughs> what? Promises, no, I mean, promises. I like nachos. They smell like nachos. Gross. <laughs> Austin said, Woody Harrelson from Nashville Killers is the carnage we deserved instead of the limp stick version we got in Venom 2. Fuck yeah. I, I totally no, like yeah, that. dude. Holy 100%. Shit. Yeah, dude. Because when I when when Woody Harrelson was cast as Carnage, I was like, "Yes, dude, that makes total fucking sense." It made just as much sense when I found out that Willem Dafoe was going up for the role of Joker. Like it 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 just made sense if they had done it right. But yeah, you're right. They they limp dicked us all the way with the Carnage that we got. But yeah, Bushwhack was... is fucking great, dude. Almost such as the sun, in my opinion. I, I haven't seen it in so long. I'm just gonna go with yours. I'm just gonna go with yours on it. But I, I do remember it being funny as fuck. Yeah, I I can't remember that dude's name uh, from Home Alone. The the, the 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 I mean Joe Pesci was great, but in my opinion, the other guy was the funniest. Yeah, I can't remember. I can never remember his fucking yeah. name. He was great. It's the same thing. Um, okay, I'm scooting. I'm scooting. I'm scooting. I'm scooting. Um, okay, Adrian says uh, based on tier, taste, strength, and price, hard seltzers. And IPAs. Well, I guess I'm out of this one. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, like, my shit, like, listen, dude, I, I defend my Michelob Ultra like that shit's like Castle Grayskull. Like, I have the, the sort of power. I don't go outside of my sort of power. I don't know anything about IPAs. I think they taste like shit without without my my uh, Grayskull strength of Michelob Ultra. I don't know. You know, uh, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and do this one for us since because uh, Jay hates everything that's not Michelob Ultra. I yeah, mean, he dude. is a staunch fucking Michelob Ultra. No, for supporter. real, dude. Like, I was over at Mike's house, like, after dad passed away, and I was over there, and Mike, all he had was Bush Light. And, like, every fucking new beer I opened up, it never got better. It tastes like oatmeal. Every you never fucking... complained. You never complained. Because it got You're me like... drunk and it felt good. <laughs> I, I told you, I was like, dude, I will go to the store and get Michelob Ultra. No, nah, you're nah, like, yeah, no, I'm you, good. You were hosting it. So I was like, I'm not going to be a rude dick. And well, I, I just like, had hey, a fresh 30 pack, a cube yeah, of bush no, lights at listen, the house. So it was good. And then I was, I was like, you, you like it? I was like, yeah, man, that's good. But I was like, every fucking time I, I opened one, I was like, it's like fucking old oatmeal. <laughs> well, I, I that's, that's, but that's, but that's, that's just me. But yeah, dude, that's how I, I am. That's fair. So now, next time I'll know. Next time I'll know. Or, or I, next I time I'll know. I wouldn't try to be no petty bitch. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hard seltzers, dude. I'm going to say this hard seltzers are. I, they're a genius fucking invention, and here's why. If you're day drinking or if you're you know going through a thing and like you need a palate cleanser, you know what I mean? Hard seltzers are so great. Like, fuck, dude, I can't what's drink exa- whiskey. What's an example of hard seltzer, though? Like Truly or uh, White Claw. Oh, um, my God. Hipster shit? Fuck that shit. It's, it's not a fucking it's not it's like all right kid rock bud light it's not a, it's not a social I'll staple of your you goddamn are. house up if you got bud light in it, i swear to god you ain't seen <laughs> nothing yet <laughs> da, 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 baby. um but yeah i would say they're a great palate cleanser i love them uh when you just try to drink nothing but hard seltzers it's it's not a great experience because like you're like i'm sober i'm sober i'm so i'm fucking drunk <laughs> it just hits you all at once um 
But sometimes, you know, I like to get me uh, – they're expensive as shit, though. So based on all that, I'm going to say it's just pretty rad. Um, God damn, dude. You're trying to get invention. all technical. You're like a palate cleanser. What the fuck? You taste wine for a living? <laughs> it's not that technical. <laughs> uh, IPAs. Jay, I know what you would say. You would say sucks my butt, Steve. Dude, it tastes like every fucking IPA I've ever had, dude. I've had, like, the super lightest IPA. And it, every fucking time, dude, it tastes like someone just shoved up a whole bunch of rubber bands in my mouth and said, chew it. <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like rubber bands to me, dude. It tastes I like fucking rubbers. Like condoms, it tastes like used condoms, like rubbers <laughs> and bland. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna throw. I, I will, I will say fuckable because I used mm. to drink them. Like when they first like became popular, I was like, oh, this is different. It's like a whole new beer. I'd say they taste like ground up flowers, but hey, they get my blood pressure all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> He said ground up flowers, dude. Yeah, like if you took flowers oh Lord, and fucking dude. smushed them together and put them in a fucking beer. Motherfucker, um, Judy Garland. <laughs> <laughs> I love the taste of them. I really do. But they, they make my heart feel weird, and they uh, they are terrible for your titties. They get, they have estrogen in them, Thick. so they give you man tits, allegedly. Thick. So be careful. Full of calories. Expensive as fuck. Um, so fuckable is as high as I can put IPAs. But, uh, yeah, and what, you, get, you get Samuel Adams every year. Isn't that an IPA? That's not IPA. No, well, they have an IPA. But like Samuel Adams is October like, is like you a like, You saw like a, like a, a corner Fest. that I was questioning your 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 passport. You're like, that's not IPA. That's, not <laughs> that's IPA. a France. That's not that's IPA. France. Um, I, I thought Samuel Adams was an IPA. They have an IPA, but no, they have the Boston Lager, which is a lager, and then uh, they have Oktoberfest. Is a as a I think they that's call what it I Franz, said. I, I it's Oktoberfest. Yeah, no, it's I think it's literally like an Oktoberfest. Uh, great question though, Cody Buchanan said you guys forgot my super chat. Let me what? Fuck back, Cody. Sorry, man. Um, fucking Mike. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm touching. I'm feeling. I'm fucking. I'm jerking. I'm sucking. I'm squeezing. Where the fuck is it? It's gone. Can't find it. Hey, you guys are gonna get Rogue City Robocop when it comes out? True, true. No. Okay. Stupid. I'm gonna get it. You're you're stupid. You, Assholes you're so, play that. You're so stupid. You're so dumb. Ass, fucking you're, stupid. Your, your face looks like a puzzle that never got fixed. You're so stupid. Buttholes. Cody, I can't fucking find it. I get, oh, there it is. Cody says he got to meet Robert England this weekend at oh. Horror Hound. It wasn't easy. I had to stay in line for five hours. God, God damn, damn, dude. Damn. Commitment. Um, but worth it. And I met Skeet mm. also. Skeet, Skeet. Oh, Skeet, Skeet. Also, I'm hoping to meet you guys at Scarefest. Can't wait for that. I can promise you this. You won't wait for five hours, Cody. <laughs> yeah. There'll be nobody in our goddamn booth. You can walk on up, have a beer with us, have a smile, and uh, we'll have a good old it's time. It's all free, by the way. Yeah, we don't charge nothing. I guarantee you. Yeah, we don't. Maybe that's why we had a big line last time. Be like, oh, you got free shit? Like, for yeah. real. Like, <laughs> you, can was... take, you can take any shit we got on the table. And they're like, for real? Like, yeah, like we were like so desperate, we were, like calling people out, was walking by us and didn't recognize, like, hey, you want some free shit? I was like, yeah, like, here, you should subscribe to our channel. I was like, what do y'all do? We told them, like, fuck that, but like, this is free. I can have <laughs> thanks, this. Like, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the signed picture, though. Yeah, I remember, like, we, we talked to this, like, family of support, like, they, they were like the Griswolds of acting, they were like a family <laughs> that was really invested in acting. And that went on far too long, that whole conversation. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, you guys don't even know who we are. You can move on now. We the gave kid you something. Did. The kid did, but they wouldn't let him watch us. Yeah, but then yeah, but then I felt like the dad was getting ready to like fucking sell me tennis lessons. <laughs> you know, they watched the show once and were like, never again. I really wish I we never either. spent that time I, that, that time talking about that. Um, but yeah, congratulations on meeting Robert, man. We almost got in trouble for filming a skit around Robert at scarefest once they the yeah. security came up to us you can't fucking film around robert like sorry dude sorry uh um, but bobby's a friend of mine <laughs> <laughs> uh renee rank them uh -oh. anakin skywalker and obi-wan kenobi oh. i got to meet both and take a photo with hayden chris wow. chris, chris christopherson at uh dallas fan expo love, cool, you both. love you too renee love you renee. uh, uh that would be cool i would love to meet uh hayden and be like i'm sorry that there were so many dickheads in the star wars fandom when you were playing uh anakin but you were a pretty bad actor until the third one uh <laughs> i don't go over real well I mean, well i mean he was i mean dude come on i watched jump too that motherfucker really didn't hit his stride until vanishing <laughs> on sixth street <laughs> uh i anakin skywalker as a character though is an all-timer it's fucking darth vader dude it's darth fucking vader dude 
You cannot right. tell me he's not. Like, he's literally the chosen one. He's the guy all that right. becomes the biggest badass, one of the best movie villains of, of all time, of any generation. He's okay. Anakin fucking Skywalker. Like, come all on, right. guys. Okay. Are, are you the Star Wars guy? I'm letting you fucking decide that. That's yeah, all dude, you. What I about Obi-Wan? Anakin, like, listen. Anakin can still fuck shit up, even when he's got asthma and dressed up as Darth Vader wearing all the heavy-ass equipment. He can still fuck shit up, and that's crazy. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi... Man, listen, I don't want to have to fucking take up all these all-timer spaces. I don't. But it's Obi-Wan fucking Kenobi, dude. It's Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? I don't remember <laughs> any owning any droids. I, like, this fucking guy hid in the desert, away from the prying eyes of that fucking pervert Emperor Palpatine, who's trying to look in on him while he's taking a poop, and like, and his former apprentice, like, like an old bitch that won't lose his number, trying to search him down. And he took care of Luke Skywalker, dude. Obi-Wan Kenobi is like... Dude, to me, Obi Wan is like better. No, he's not. I'm not gonna say that. But Obi Wan is maybe slightly better than Luke Skywalker, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Okay. All fucking okay. Uh, thanks, Renee. Appreciate you. We love you too. Adrian says, "How about the Walking Dead series?" <sighs> pretty overall. rad. Overall, pretty rad. That's it. I think it was. I, I think it started out really strong. I actually tried my best to watch every fucking single season. I think I made it to the eighth one, and dude, I was so guy. I, I I looked like a zombie from the show <laughs> by the time I was done because I it's just it got so bad, it got so boring. I think that what happened is when the governor storyline happened. I think that was like season four or three or whatever. I think it slowed it down so so much that I lost all interest in it. Like. The first two seasons were fucking incredible, and I was excited for it. I thought it was cool, and then it just starts slowing down and getting more and more like we just stay here and talk about shit, and you blew your mom's head off because she was turning into a zombie. Carl! Carl! And it was just like this constant shit, and I'm like, all right, well, when the fuck are you going to fight zombies and not just have this bickering all the Anyway, it's pretty rad. That's fair. I, I only watched a couple episodes, and I was like, this show's cool, but I don't care enough to go all the way in, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm only going to go partially in. Well, that's how I'm, I think that's how I'm on Supernatural. Because we've got yeah. people to ask us about. Dude, there's like fucking 100 seasons of Supernatural. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that sounds fair. And plus, when you hear people complain about it, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go in there and get my heart broken. I'm not for it. Robin Barker says, just started my holiday. 17 hey. days off work. Wow. I'm happy to start it with a WAN stream. Get it up, baby. Get God damn, up. Robin. Have a great fucking weekend. Great goddamn vacation. And let's just be honest here. 17 days of work. I'm happy I started my my vacation just say you got fired and you're gonna find a better job <laughs> i promised my I, husband or wife i my, will have a new job uh, in 17 uh, days you're watching the stream right now i mean vacation <laughs> <laughs> hey but Congrats, awesome though. awesome Robin. Hey, part of your fucking face off man enjoy it joe valentine thanks buddy says i messed up my shoulder at work yesterday I need this tonight beers and cheers thanks so much boys much love to y'all's family from mine hey, to you joe man to i hope you. your i hope your shoulder feels better those shoulders are... <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty fuck. That, was, that shit was so goddamn delayed. I, it was delayed strangers... as fuck in my hearing. I was like, it, it didn't scare me because that shit was delayed. It, it didn't feel <laughs> real when it happened. Fuck. Like, it felt Dude, like it was piped in. Hell is Bart. She scares the fuck out of every delivery driver that comes here because she's the sweet dog, but if she doesn't know, like, if someone broke in here, that dog would eat their fucking head. Yeah. Uh, she's scary. Anyways. How, that, uh, that... I, got, I got a dog, Greta, who was like that too fucking wild and crazy kids yeah. uh, shoulders tricky joe but uh i hope your shoulder feels better dude we love you thank you, thank man. you man hey thank you, you shut your fucking mouth trying to be no. professionals he's trying to make you all feel like he's talking to the dog but he's talking to his wife <laughs> <laughs> gina gina Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. It says, hey, guys, I secretly listen to you guys at work to keep me from rage quitting. Oh. My boyfriend and I are celebrating two years on Monday. And we wow, surprised him with a shout out from Loomis and Chalice. Thank you guys for the last. Thank you, Gina. Hey, thank you, Gina. I'm going to what... scoot this over for just a second because your head's sort of cut off. So I want him to be able to appreciate it. Well, he probably just wants to hear the voice. Don't 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 sell your face short. I like to fuck it. Fuck my face. I'm I got I will. A face. I got okay, good. I hope so because I bought rubbers. <laughs> Give me that jelly donut. <laughs> I don't need rubbers to fuck your face. Oh wow. Uh okay. Oh my dick a jelly uh, donut. Way, I gotta say, like it's it's because it's I fat. always love hearing about people that secretly listen or they're like secret shoppers in the comment section and they only just come out. Where I we would love to hear from you guys, like the ones that just kind of lurk around. It's really cool though. I love shows it. your dicks. 
Yeah, show us your well, whatever. Show us your dicks. Show us whatever genitalia you got. Uh, only dicks. But, only dicks only on dicks. Saturdays. Only dicks on Saturdays. On yeah. Mondays, it might be the jeans. Who knows? But uh yeah. Yeah, all right. So uh, I, I don't know where I was going with that. I, I think I was just trying to say how grateful we are or something like that or some shit like that. We'll talk. Uh, Gina's <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> Gina didn't give us his name. That's so all right. Just Gina's boyfriend. Yeah. Gina's boyfriend. Uh, you know, Gina, you came in here and normally, if anything with a pulse walks in to the bar that we're sitting at while I'm watching sports and these goddamn commercials keep coming, would you turn it off? Turn it off! Calm down. You're going to get thrown out of here, too, you asshole. God's sakes. For God's sakes, turn it off. Uh, what I was trying to say was this. Uh, normally, someone comes in here, they walk in this bar, I'm taking them home. Taking them home. There's no questions about it. I'm going to call Linda. I'm going to say, hey, I'll pick up the kids next January. All right? This is a promise. I got things to do. There's a doctor's conference. And then, uh, especially if your dad just died. In this case, Gina, you sound like a good person. You sound like uh, your boyfriend's a good man. So I'd like to invite him to the bar. And the three of us can have a couple boiler makers. maybe go to a Cubs game, have a hot dog, and uh, just see where it goes. But I just want to say happy birthday to Gina's boyfriend. And, uh, Keep on, keep on plugging, you know, keep on, keep on, keep on rocking, keep on trucking, keep on trucking. Hey, take hey, a nap. shut up. Hey, what? Gina's boyfriend. Do you, voice know, do you know your goddamn girlfriend is uh, fucking out here spending $20 on two dumbasses to give shout outs? You might want to rethink your situation right there. Just be like, hey, don't go on YouTube and spend $20 on some bullshit birthday shout out that I don't give a fuck about two assholes that are drunk, washed up and fat and ugly. That's what I would say. And by the way, if your name's not Martin Lawrence, because her name is Gina, my aunt from the Martin show, shut up! Go die in a puke of your old goddamn alcohol-infused breath. Gina's boyfriend, happy birthday. Your girlfriend said for me to say happy birthday to you. Here's what I will say. Take control of your goddamn life, dear sir. Tell your girlfriend, hey, I love you, baby. I love you, honey bunny. I love you, honey bunches of oats. But do not go together? on the YouTube and donate to add two assholes to give me a shout out ever again, ever again, because we need that money to start planning for the future. But Gina's I bet his boyfriend, name's Steve. I want you to just set yourself on fire and burn in the parking lot. Shut me? up. Yes, you. Shut up. You You're got taking your mother's aggression out on me. You mean that smelling motherfucker? He mean he doesn't mean that. He's talking about his mother. He's he's mad at his mom. He's no, mad at his mom. I didn't know my mother. I had, I had sex Thank with her. Thank you for making it depressing again. I'm actually Keep on dad. sucking back the goddamn juices. I'm actually, it is getting late. I could use a drink. Yeah, I bet you could. You could use something hey. in your asshole too. Called an anal. Probably. Beat. I'll take it. Happy birthday, Gina's boyfriend. Gina was her name. Oh. Hey, the Jess T1000, TX, and T800. Much that's love easy. from Yeehaw Land. Thank you, man. Uh, that's easy. Uh, well, dude, you got to put T800 and T1000 all timer. All timer. T one thousand is no doubt not an all timer, not even close. Yeah, Just are kidding. you shitting? My, yeah, I was, say, I was gonna say, I was gonna uh, say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, goddamn crazy. Get him well, in there, old T one thousand. What was the other ones? T eight hundred is an all timer. That's fucking Arnold from the first Terminator. Gotta go. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'd probably put him above T-800. T-1000. T-1000. What the hell is that? Liquid metal. <laughs> I'm a cybernetic organism. Uh, what the fuck Cyber is a Cyberdyne TX? Systems 101. Oh, TX is that hot-ass bitch from Terminator 3, dude. Oh, she was. She's wow. hot as fuck, though. Wow. Hot as fuck. The, 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 <laughs> the, uh, the, the robot, the, the, the Terminator itself, though, is kind of lame. As like a character, it, I'd say pretty yeah, rad. Yeah, TX is pretty rad. It, it's not, like, it was kind of, it was kind of lame. You know, yeah. like the fact that he tried to mix the metal thing with the liquid metal, I thought it was stupid. Yeah, yeah, but man, she was whoosh, God whoosh, damn, dude. I was whoosh. I thought we were gonna get like some sexy time action when she was like telling that one girl when she stole yeah. her Porsche, she's like, I like your dress. I'm like, Oh my god. She's like, I know she, no, no, she was butt ass naked. She was butt ass naked. And she came up to that girl in the porch, she's like, I like your car. I'm like, You but I'll make out with you for it. Please, like, God. That's what should have happened. 
What yeah, whatever happened. happened to that lady? She was. I don't know. She still looks fucking god. Holy damn. balls! Oh god, Titanic. Izzy wants us to rank Titanic. What the fuck, Izzy? You fucking. I fuck. cannot go on the ship that's with you. That's not the song. That's not even the lyrics. The, the lyrics are, "My heart will go on, and I suck." No, I, I, okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be for reals with y'all. Uh, I think Titanic is pretty How rad. How does that song go? How's the heart song go, Jay? Will go on. My heart will go on. Celine Dion, and... tap into that fucking spirit. Um, I think it's pretty rad. Uh, I don't, I, I don't think. I never, I never, I never was the target audience for it. I, I never got it. As far, I, I thought it was cool how they did the ship being destroyed. I thought visually it was also very impressive. But I didn't give a fuck about the story or the romance. I didn't give a shit. I, I just watched it for the fucking Titanic sinking. <laughs> I, I thought that was cool. I thought that was really well done. But otherwise, I think it's pretty rad. As a, I feel like I feel like it's pretty rad if you think about it as a cinematic movie. The fact that they literally spent a billion dollars doing this and they built a fucking life-size Titanic ship up to just sink. It's insane. Um, I personally, I would say that that movie, stop staring at me like that, hell. You're creeping me the fuck out. Um, My heart will go on. Yeah, I would say Titanic personally for me is is no better than fuckable, but I will go with you on pretty rad because I know if I put it to a vote, people love that movie and they're just gonna say it's pretty rad or even better. Yeah, because Mike's a, gonna, Mike's a natural just gonna, born killer of, of hatred of James Cameron. Just I'm just gonna James bend Cameron. over and take it up the tailpipe because I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna go in pretty rad. So that's where it goes. Fuck you all. Fuck everyone. I hate everyone. That's all right. You all suck. Brian Mack, if you could go back in time and change one thing in history, what would it be? Definitely the size of my Oh, also, have you seen the 112263 miniseries by Stephen King? Well, the one thing I would go back in time and change is those dumbasses getting rid of the jalapeno thick burger from Hardy. So, yes, motherfuckers. the jalapeno thick burger was amazing. God damn it, dude. It was the greatest fucking hamburger to ever exist in any timeline in any fast food restaurants, yep. dude. Hardy's jalapeno thick burger and they got rid of it they discontinued it even fucking shitty taco bell it's not shitty forgive me lord they bring back fucking favorite items on the menu where the fuck is our jalapeno thick burger huh yeah, take it put it back put it the fuck back that's what I, that's what i would change it. that's what i would change but no Pieces uh 11 63 no nah, i never watched that i saw the, the the cover for it It looked like some kind of children of corn bullshit i didn't want to watch it i've never seen that either but don't you have to kill hitler I mean, if you if you have if you could go back in time and change one thing, it's got to be that you kill Hitler. No, because right? history literally has told you if you kill Hitler, so Joseph Stalin would have been the next Hitler. It would have been something worse. Okay, but you have to try, Jay. You can't just give up. You Maximum effort. Fucking give up. Maximum effort. Choke that baby. Packers. Choke that baby, Hitler. Fine. I would have made the Packers win the Super Bowl against the Broncos. That's what I would have done. Dude, I got to piss again. God damn, go, dude. Go. Just fucking no, go. No, I'm going to read this. We're going to read this. No, you and together. your selfish penis. Dude! Fuck out of here and go pee. I share my cum with your mouth all the time. Well, that's not nobody's business but me, you, and my oh, dad. Shit, dude. Who filmed well, it? I did, I, did he run out of film last night? <laughs> <laughs> Memory card stall, dude. That happens every time. Field of Screams podcast says, hey, I, Tyler. Tyler recently joined the Patreon last week. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Helping fund Jay's Pumas. We need it. We need it. Yeah, dude. What's... Just fucking give us money, dude. Like these Pumas are expensive, bro. Like ten <laughs> fifty a pop at Costco. Uh, dude, while we appreciate that, Tyler, and we appreciate the super chat, I gotta say that neither of us have seen Gunsum Hunter Asylum. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't so know I don't know how to rank it. That, that sounds like an STD. Uh, yeah. <laughs> say if you like it, I don't know I'll what that say, is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, dude. I well, wish we appreciate we had that. that. Hey, man, thank you, man. My pumas are getting worn out again. I got to get another fucking ten dollars and fifty cent to go to fucking Costco, <laughs> buy me some more pumas. <laughs> uh, Adrian Yabar says rank the, these crappy controllers N64 and Dreamcast. Oh, oh Dreamcast just sucks ooh, my butt. Steve, that's dude. a bad one, dude. Yeah, fucking Dreamcast down. is fucking awful. Like Dreamcast, the system was ahead of its time. 100% ahead of its time. Like they had some 
dude, they were like on something. They were like, they were there, but they were just way too early, I guess, for people to catch on. And, and the titles weren't good when it came out. But Mike had, a, I remember Mike had a Dreamcast, but I remember playing like on, on his Dreamcast and the controller was fucking weird. I didn't even know what you did with it. Like it was like, it had a little screen on it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Or is this like, how do you raise a gotcha? Remember those little pets? <laughs> yeah. Are, what they pets? Or what, I don't know. I was like, yeah. you have like a little mini game in here. Uh, yeah. And the, but the N64, dude, I think it's fuckable. To be honest, N64 controller, I, we played Goldeneye with it. It wasn't bad. It got you used to a joystick. Yeah, you, honestly, you I, I, I'm 100% in agreement with you on both of those. No doubt. No doubt whatsoever. N64 actually, like. I don't I didn't mind it because it was hard to figure out because like you have to put your hand in the middle and then the other hand over here and then you're leaving the cross pet like what the fucking what the was the, the goddamn the cross yeah pet? yeah so like doing that was weird but once you got the hang of it and like you had some fun with it it was yeah, nice dude, and like, it, it, comfy it, it, like the hand well like honestly if you think about it the N64 and and some will say well the PS1 but I mean for me it was the N64 introduced me to the joystick and like yeah. now all you have is the joystick on the Xbox or the or the PlayStation controller so I don't yeah. think it was that bad, dude. Yeah, I, I feel like the most useless fine. thing on the N64 remote, which was completely fucking useless. You remember those little yellow up, down, left, right on the far right of the controller? It did yeah. nothing. It did nothing. fucking nothing. Fucking pointless. Hey, underrated game on Nintendo 64, by the way. I know it was on PC first and better because you could walk up. You could go to the strip club and press the space bar and the strippers go... Oh, and like show you their titties real quick, but uh, Duke Nukem was a fun oh, yeah, ass dude. Nintendo 64 game. Duke we used to wear that like, shit out. The, the, like that's as like as highly rememberable to me as uh, as Goldeneye. Fuck yeah! All right, I'll be right back. Oh, I wouldn't say that. All right, hurry because I gotta pee. Now I have to pee. He didn't hear me. Goodbye, Shadow. Goodbye, Shadow. Stop saying that, you fucking dick. He can't hear me. Kyle said we missed his super chat, so I'm scooting back. Sorry, Kyle. We and suck at our jobs we're pieces of shit and that's why nobody like us likes us and we have to do youtube um for a living because people in our daily lives that have to live with us all day long and not just for three hours at a time really don't like us i'm serious my own parents don't speak to me anymore um i'm just kidding i think i kyle i'm looking for it i'm fucking looking and i'm swimming and i'm i'm pulling out the boxes and i'm i'm the ripping and the tearing i'm inside of someone naked uh, on fire in the back of a fucking sh shopping cart kyle i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it kyle i can't fucking find it oh there it is fuck me in the ass hey homies fudging love y'all that's i don't know what that T texas chainsaw massacre dropped you guys playing what's your favorite freddy line uh so we are going to look Neither of us have played it yet. And the reason that we're not playing it yet is because I really want our first time to be in front of all of you guys sexually and playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Uh, we're really hoping to do that. I've got some technical stuff to figure out on my side, but I, I think our first Texas Chainsaw Massacre stream is going to be our first time both playing the game and it's going to be on the Patreon and we're going to try to work out the kinks, maybe play with a couple of you guys. Um, so I hope, I hope, if we can get the technical side sorted out, I know that the content will be good and it'll be fun. So hopefully you guys will see us dipping our dicks into the video game world uh, quite soon uh, with that. Uh, sorry that we missed that earlier, man. Favorite Freddy line? Um, you know what? I'm just going to give it some love. It's not actually the best one at all. But I'm going to give it some love because you're putting me on the spot here. And I always thought in the remake when he goes... You know, the brain survives for eight minutes after the body dies. Well, that gives us seven minutes to play. Mm. Which always creeped me the fuck out. Definitely not the best Freddy line, but I'm just going to throw that out there to give it some love because it was fucking amazing. I'd say This Is God is probably the actual best one because that was fucked up and really twisted. Um, Mercurio80, thanks, buddy. Says, hey, guys, what teen comedy would you give a horror twist to? My pick is John Tucker Must Die. Dude, I'm actually working on this in my own mind. I plan on doing a uh, video series going through other teen comedies like Varsity Blues, Can't Hardly Wait specifically is the first one I want to start with, where I take a look at the movie, and if it was a screen movie, I decide who would be the hero, who would be the killer, what the twist would be, all that stuff. And so I'm going to say Can't Hardly Wait. Because imagine watching Can't Hardly Wait and it be in the Scream movie and people are getting picked off. Who do you think the killer would be and what do you think would be their motivation? That's fucking fascinating in my mind. 
Fucking fascinating. Mike Parton said, let me school y'all real quick. Top means that you're the main guy. Bottom means you're the one that gets it. And verse means you can do both. Thank you. I knew top and I knew bottom. Um, I did not know what verse meant. Uh, obviously, we can't rank them because as despite all of our knowledge of that, we've never done it on the weekends and don't know how to rank them. But hey, it's fucking awesome, man. I hope that they're all all timers for you guys. And I hope you guys have the best. Uh, I, I'd say verse has got to be the best, right? Get you a guy who can do both, you know? Okay, it's freak in the streets and a fucking dude in the streets. I don't know what I'm saying. Joe Valentine, Mike, my daughter is in he for terrible two. Uh, my daughter's in her terrible twos. Any advice? Yes, put up everything sharp. Two year olds will fuck themselves up. They will fuck themselves up. A, be very patient. You're going to need it. Uh, but I will say this. Two-year-olds are the best advice I can give you. Put them in a car seat. Drive around. That's how you get them down for naps. Some kids, like you put them in that car seat and just drive around town, they fucking conk out. You play Call of Duty. Do whatever you want to do. Don't do this all the time. I'm just saying when it's time for them to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Be responsible. I know that, Joe. I know. You're, you're a good guy. You'll be fine. Uh, other than that, I would say, yeah, literally – Anything that they can find to murder themselves with, they will find. And as the person who's really paranoid about that shit, there's a lot of ways for kids to fuck themselves up. So that's my best advice. Literally turn your house into a fucking bubble. And also, if you need to get them to sleep, take them on a ride. Uh, will Meister says, I, I lived your Scream the TV series video where you would, where would you rank Piper versus the other killers in the Scream franchise? <laughs> Holy fuck. Piper is in sucks my butt, Steve ter territory twice on Sunday, six times on Monday and 37 times a day for the rest of the fucking goddamn millennium. Piper is the worst goddamn Scream killer that has ever fucking Scream killed. And I'm so fucking sick of people trying to tell me that the Scream TV series is fucking good. I'm ha I'm like almost done with the series uh, season two, and I, like it's better. It is better. It's getting better. I will say that. But my fucking god, Piper as a killer, this stupid fucking. The whole time she's in the show, like I'm a podcaster and I have oversized glasses and I drink lattes and I have my computer in a Starbucks because I'm a podcaster and it's the most fucking one dimensional dumb shit fuck character I've ever seen in my life. And then the reveal, holy shit. They take this character who has got about as much charisma as a fucking doormat. And they're just in there trying to like over like ham it up as a fucking scream killer. And like, I did it. And it's just so fucking Scooby-Doo butt trash. Fucking. It's like if my chemical romance was a terrible band and their lead singer pretended to be the fucking ghost face killer, but tried to like fucking stew it up. Just goddamn garbage juice yeah, in Texas yeah. town. I would have fucking talk about like what you would do to Chucky and how he's not scary. Piper, like you could have fucking hurt her feelings. Like you could have said you didn't like the Barbie movie and yeah. she would have fucking drowned herself in a fucking ravine. Good. The worst goddamn killer of all time. Make in sure you record franchise. it when you do it. Put it in your ass. It goes straight to sex hey, about Steve. By the way, guys. I, okay. I, yeah, dicks. Uh, Sweet. Now we can dude, be together forever. Listen to this. What? Doug Bradley's going to be at Scarefest. It was just announced. Everyone's going to be at fucking Scarefest. Yeah, but dude, Doug Bradley's going to be at Scarefest. And April was like, well, I was going to buy you a photo op. I was like, fuck that shit. I don't want you to spend like $98,000. Because I don't know. She's like, oh, it's not going to be awkward or anything. You just walk up be like, hey, because I don't yeah, I, I, I don't like doing that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that. And she's like, no, you just walk up and you be like, hey, nice to meet you or whatever. And then you got to put your hand on their waist and you barely had a conversation with them and you get like a weird picture. You know, I'll be like, you know, what, what I got, I don't know what to do. Like, and then she's like, well, let me just buy it for you. Like a, a photo op. I'm like, no, because what am I going to go up to him and be like, your photo is mine. I don't want to <laughs> do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, I would just get weird. I, 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 I wouldn't even do the photo op. I would just get him to sign something fucking awesome. I don't know. I, I, well, yeah. <laughs> But also, I wouldn't spend that amount of money. To, to I don't want to spend no more. I, yeah, I was like, so, I don't like that shit. I mean, I, but I, I love Doug Bradley, and I hope we get I think to meet Doug him Bradley's smoking a cigarette good. outside. I love Doug Bradley, dude. Like Doug Bradley. I mean, I fucking love Pinhead, but dude, Jesus Christ, dude, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to do that. I never did a photo op with anybody before, dude, and like what you would don't, you, do? you don't know him, and you're like, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do because I because I, I gotta know him a little bit. I'm hey, like, I gotta pee. Shut up. I, well, I'm talking to them. Shut up. Go. 
9 go. 1 p.m. 9 oh one p.m. I gotta go. 9 oh one p.m. That's where we're at. No, two one oh. No. All right, hold on. I'll get there. 901. 901. 901. Where are we at? 901. Got it. 901. He didn't tell me the name though. That's fine. I'll figure it out. No. Oh. Joe Valentine says, uh, thank you, sir. Can Loomis rank the Ninja Turtles? Yes, I will. I'll do it for you really quick. Uh, not in this goddamn shitty tier list. Uh, it's awful. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Reboot. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Reboot sequel. And then the cartoon shit. End of story. Thank you, Joe. Everything else sucked. Chris Fold. Uh, thank you so much. It's Turtles in Time versus Final Fight. Uh, ooh, dude, that's a good fucking one. That's a good fucking one, dude. Oh, my God. I'll wait. I'll wait. 901. Let me write that down. Uh, let me write that down. April O'Neil. I'm writing shit down. 901 p.m. 901. Chris. I know what I'll, I'll put. I know what I do, but let's keep going. Uh, Ed Seller, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. A good one, too. 905. 905, Ed. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate you. And we're caught up. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. We're caught up. Oh, my God. I get to talk to you guys live now. Shout. Shout. Shout it. Um, listening, guys, for real, though. Like, I'm not trying to be ungrateful about the fact that she, my wife wants to buy me a photo shoot with Doug Bradley because I fucking love Doug Bradley, but I just don't know how to react to such a thing. You know what I mean? Like I gotta have like a conversation before I put my hands on you to take a weird picture. You know, I don't want to be, you know, but I, because I'd be like weird about it. like, hey Doug, if you ever want to come on the show, what's up? You know what I mean? I don't know. And also, I don't, I don't like spend it like but me and Mike give our shit away for free. <laughs> like we give, we like, well, like if you want a picture with us or or us to sign anything, that shit for free. Um. Cause you guys are awesome. I'm not going to charge you guys at a fucking convention, but this is what I understand why, you know, they're actors like huge actors and shit. I get why they do it, but I can't do that stuff, but I got, I, I bet I feel weird. I don't know. Tomo Elgato says, this is live impossible. I know, dude, I'm like the same way. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. I can't even believe it. Tomo Elgato says, let's just pose with the replica of the lament configuration box. no, no, dude, I don't want to do like like corny ass shit though. You know what I mean? But I want to. I don't know. Yeah, that is. But that is like exactly what he would expect. I don't know, man. Maybe we want because I feel like we just save our money. Maybe I'll meet him at the bar or something like that. We'll like drink and talk about like what what our favorite torture positions are. Uh, Ziva Zuv says, uh, "What's your opinion on X?" Like. I, I don't think I saw that one. Dude, I, I didn't see that one, for real. I thought you were talking about Jason X. I have an opinion on Jason X. I don't know what X is, though. Luke Soul says, Jay, make sure you have pants on when you take the picture. Ha, <laughs> face blues. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure my panties are on, for sure. Yeah, dude, he seems like a cool guy. I can't believe he's going to be there. Like, dude, I love Doug Bradley, dude. Like, like, like he's so badass. I think he's so underrated as, as, as an actor. And as a horror icon, I think Pinhead is more, for me personally, I think he's just an underrated uh, horror icon. Sup, Imran? Uh, Austin, Jay, you ever see Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Most of my weekends are like that, so it's a comfort movie. Yeah, dude. I have seen it. I, I can't remember it because I think I was fucking hammered each time I've seen it, but... Uh, Chris Foles says, tell me you loved him wrong turn six. Nah, man, I'll tell him I loved him in Pumpkinhead 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah no. Um, I love, I think Doug Bradley is, is so cool, man. Like, he could be a sugar daddy for sure. Uh, JK, uh, Jay, where would you rank Dude, Where's My Car? I mean, personally, for me, I think Dude, Where's My Car is, I think it's fuckable. I don't think it's like I don't think it's like anything amazing or memorable necessarily. I think it's got some really cool lines and some funny performances in it, but I don't think it's anything like mind-blowingly awesome, personally. 
Uh, Imran says, Jay, thoughts on Prisoners? Uh, oh, the movie uh, with uh, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal? Incredible, dude. An amazing movie. An amazing performance. What else can you say about that movie? Holy shit. I'd blow both those guys. I mean, I'd watch both those guys. Not blow them. <laughs> Unless they asked. Yeah, what? You oh, you're back. Um, uh, we're at not go to 901 p.m. because we've got some uh rankings to do. Uh, I know Joe, so I see Joe asked Loomis ranked the Ninja Turtles. Do you already do that? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, okay. Uh, and it went just uh, yeah, there you go. Turtles in time versus final fight. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's a good fucking one, dude. That's a good fucking one. Now, what I gotta do, oh. what I gotta do, what I gotta do is I gotta go into the mind and think back. What gave me the biggest boner? I mean, the biggest like adrenaline surge. It's gonna be Final Fight, dude, with Haggard and Cody. All right, and then they had Guy later on. Guy, Final Fight to me, Final Fight, dude, one of the best beat 'em up games ever released on Super Nintendo, without a doubt. One of the best beat 'em up games ever is an all timer, in my opinions. Okay, but I could put it in almost touch at the sun, which I think we should do. We have to do that, okay? We, not everything can go to all timer. Turtles in time, pretty rad, dude. Pretty rad. What? Fucking shut fucking your mouth. What? Shut your mouth. Listen to dad. What the fuck? Listen to dad. Turtles two, the <laughs> arcade game on NES, was the superior game, and then Turtles in Manhattan or the Manhattan Project on NES was good too. Turtles in time, while a great port and a great Super Nintendo game did not live up to Turtles 2, the arcade. If, like, to me, I think the greatest Turtles game that ever came out on any system was Turtles 2, the arcade game on NES. Sorry. I'm sorry. I had, listen, I had my Turtles games confused. All right? I thought you were talking about the other one. So I'll agree with you, actually. So all Final Fights almost touches the sun. Yes. And Turtles in Time, pretty rad. I will agree with that, actually. But it was they're still fucking great though. They're no, they're amazing, dude. Yeah, they're fucking amazing. Uh, but I would take Tano, uh final fight over Turtles in Time. I, I was thinking of the NES one. The NES yeah, one and Turtles fucking... in Time was good though, but I feel like they were trying to get too fancy with it. When Turtles in Time came out, I feel like Turtles in Time was trying to like the, it looked great graphically, it looked good, but I feel like they were trying to do too much with it, which took away. I feel like if you'd kept the simple mechanic of Turtles uh two, the arcade game, yeah, and Turtles Three. Uh, the Manhattan Project, I think it would have been fucking phenomenal, but I just, there was something about it. I don't know. That's that, That's totally fair. Ed Sadler says, what about Kung Pao Enter the Fist? I've never seen it. i never seen it. Oh, yeah, it. that was the 905? Was that the 905? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kung Pao's Did fuckable. Ever... Kung Pao's fuckable. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it, because I don't remember it. Uh, Kung Pao makes me fucking hungry, actually. Is that is that a Chinese thing? Oh, it's... What'd you say it was? Fuckable? Yeah, yeah. No, there's yeah, kung pao chicken, dude. Kung pao chicken. Oh, I didn't know they did that. There's kung pao. Shut the they punch the chicken before they cook it. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said, "Love how weird the stream has been." Rank Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Fourth of July. Oh, um, okay. Uh, what? Well, so we won't we won't put these in the tiers, but we'll just say them real quick because I don't want to type all that shit out. Uh, what? No, fuck it. Actually, that we'll do it. Oh I, yeah. I'll, uh, all right, Halloween is fucking all timer. Like, just there's no. Just oh, like on the seasons, you. on the seasons. Okay. Yeah, like the 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 I holidays. Halloween's it's all timer, right? The fucking the pumpkin spice, the fall, the trick or treating, it's all the mask. It's, it's all timer. It's an all fucking weather. timer. Fuck. No need to talk about it. Let's get our dicks out and see how hard they get, and then suck them. I mean, like it, compare them. Yeah, that too. I would suck Halloween's cock. I would suck Halloween's fall tasting Oktoberfest cock in a fucking heartbeat. Uh, Christmas. Where do you put Christmas? Man, I used to. I, I like. I back in the day, I I would have put Christmas as an all timer, just because that you know the way it made you feel. As a kid, I, it's an all timer. Yeah, for as, sure. all, as a kid for a hundred percent. But as yeah. you get older and you got fucking bills and shit, and you got to buy people <laughs> shit for Christmas, and you're like, why the fuck do you motherfuckers die early? So I didn't have to buy you motherfuckers so many gifts. So not the kids. Like, not the fucking kids. No, what? Not, no, not the kids. Can I finish? <laughs> I just been fucking. I just been like fucking people that are like you know like your brothers and shit and your sisters oh, okay. and like your uncles and aunts. <laughs> I was like, like people that like, people that did good shit for you late like you know in your life and you're like I gotta get some something for Christmas. And you're like, 
<laughs> fuck, dude. I'm running a goddamn on fumes, you motherfucker. I owe the yeah. IRS like two thousand dollars right now, for real. For real, real can talk. You just die so I don't have to buy you a print. No, like real talk though. That's true. Uh, I feel like it's pretty rad. I mean, I like, I like the, I like the snow holiday. It's kind of fun, festive. I will 100% go with pretty rad as well. And here's why I love, there's nothing better than Christmas morning, uh, with the kids. Like, and I'm, I'm for, again, being a kid, Christmas is all timer. Cause you get a bunch of shit for free. And it's yeah, okay, awesome. yeah, wait, wait. Mike's got, Mike's got a better, I don't have kids. So maybe that, it changes. I don't know. No, no, it's, it's, you, you got a good point there. Uh, the only possible downside of christmas as a kid is that you have to go to weird fucking relatives house and have them mm. pinch your cheeks and shit and get you shitty presents but like uh as an adult christmas can suck for sure the lead up to christmas sucks because there's all the fucking shopping and there's all the i may i don't want to fuck my kids up i want to make sure i get the right things it's all worth it though on christmas morning i will say yeah, you, the, the, i i you know i feel bad for you dude because i mean you kids are great dude but i mean for real back like they're a tiktok generation like you could never just like geppetto them a gift like I, I worked really hard in the garage all summer and autumn long to make you this <laughs> make you this fucking bicycle made out of fucking wood. And, and and they'd be like, Yeah, but I really wanted a fucking like new phone. Right. And you'd be like, fuck you, you Christmas, ungrateful fuck. You know I will I mean? say as as my girls get older, Christmas gets more and more fucking expensive and less fun because it's like you have to like you like they want bigger gifts that like aren't as fun, like yeah. buying like shit tons of fucking dumb shit that's like nine and twenty dollars a pop and that's the best part and then they're like i want a computer they're like Here's yeah your computer and he's like yeah well <laughs> why don't you ask ask your uncle sammy if he can send me some fucking food stamps <laughs> so i yeah, can have I'll more say, money to cheat all my taxes and i can I'll, buy you shit I, st- I, I say Christmas as an adult is pretty rad pretty because rad. there's nothing better than Christmas morning and watching your kids open their presents and spending that day together. But fuck, is it expensive and is it stressful? And there's the shopping and there's the fucking, uh, you know, a lot of times, like I love my in-laws, but like I have been at Christmases you, you with in-laws is, that dude. aren't fun and that part sucks shit. Yeah. So You know yeah. what it is? I feel like the first part of December is fucking awesome for some reason. I feel like the first part of the month like just feels good. And then as the month wears on, it, it feels like it's tears at your soul. Like Pinhead would like be ripping flesh from your skin. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. No, yeah. I don't know what it is. But by the time you get to Christmas, you're like, I'm so fucking drained. And like That's over fair. all the bullshit. Yeah. And the, the, I hate Christmas music. And then and not, so like, tired we, of have it. A, we have a local radio station called 94.5. These motherfuckers literally, the, the day after Chris, uh, Thanksgiving, they play nonstop fucking christmas music yeah. it makes you want to be like fucking patrick bateman and start yeah. going on a fucking killing spree and if you just want to go old chicago and have a pint and a pizza and you're doing it during christmas shopping hours it's a fucking shit show and the traffic fucking sucks and like all that stuff's really fucking yeah. annoying for sure so i'll say pretty rad uh for sure fourth of july fourth uh, of it's july fuckable. it's fuckable. fuckable it's fuckable that's it i mean i we're not i mean i'm pay i i love america i love america <laughs> I do. I, I, I'm glad to be a part of the country and shit. But I'm mean, gonna be indicted. Yeah, God, fuck you. <laughs> Why don't you take your dementia pill, Biden? Uh, but no, I, I would say uh, Fourth of July is one of those holidays. It meant a lot more when you were younger, and then when you got older, you're like, damn, I gotta buy my own fireworks now. Holy shit, that's expensive as fuck. And, you, <laughs> and even the good ones, you gotta go out of state to get. Like in Kentucky, well, you gotta go to fucking Tennessee. To get the good fucking fireworks. Not and that's just like two hundred fucking dollars. No, not anymore. They changed some rules. Katie bought some random ass fireworks from like one of those fucking tents. By the way, oh. I can I just quick story time, like short fucking fast story time here. My life almost took a very, very Jay. I don't even know if I told you this fucking story, dude. My life almost took the most drastic change you've ever heard of in your fucking life, right? So right before we started the channel, it was right before we started the channel. Um I got two job offers at one time. No, like, you told me this story, you dumbass. Oh, I okay. Well, the story. Shut up. Fine. <laughs> but I got two jobs. Uh, the, the job that I worked at for five years before I finally uh, quit it to do the channel full time, uh, this job offered me. It was a, it was a, a low place. I worked my way up through there. But still, it was like 16 Came bucks hard. an hour, which at that time was really <laughs> fucking good. You know? Yeah. But like, I was. It, it was a temporary position that could turn into a full time position yeah. at the time. And I also had an offer to uh, when I was looking for a job at this point to go and <laughs> one of those fucking firework tents. Like you guys see them everywhere. Like I know, I, did Walmart you not buy? I thought you bought into that. I thought you bought. I bought. I thought you bought stake in that. 
No, I started to like, so oh, it yeah, wasn't buying dumb. things. So no, they were like, they were hiring. And what it, basically what it was is, uh, you know, those, ten, those firework tents you guys see at like uh, mm-hmm. Walmart parking lots or gas stations or whatever. They were like, okay, we will hire you to do this. And what, what you'll do is you'll have to live on site. Either you, we're going to give you like three grand. I think it was like three grand. I want to say, uh, yep. and for like a couple months or whatever the time frame was, and you run the stand. It's up to you what you want to do with it. You can hire help and you can hire security at night or you can pull up a trailer if you want to or an RV or you can live there on the site of it. And we'll give you $3,000 to do it for like two months or whatever. And you run the whole thing. And also you get commission based on what you sell. So I was considering this when they offered me this job. And thank fuck. Yeah, I, I wasn't know, stupid you enough dodged, to do it. You dodged a matrix bullet because if you didn't sell that fucking shit, you'd be responsible for it. You'd have to you fucking know, you'd have to send them the money for all the shit you didn't sell. Yeah, and I wasn't going to be able to hire anybody, so I was going to have to live in a fucking in a fucking RV for three months and be fucking hawking. Sounds like what fireworks. my life would be like if I were single. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just trying to do what single, I got to do. I got to do what I got to do, bro. If, if I was single, I probably would have fucking done it, dude. But I, I decided to take the risk, take the job. Thank fucking God almighty I did you that. Know what? Uh, you know what? To be fair, yeah. though, uh, to be fair, I feel like to do that job, if you were single, dude, you could probably slam some ass. Like if you were single, fireworks? yeah, dude, you see Joe dirt, but I'm saying like, I think that you could slam some ass because you could like sell fireworks. If you were like, if you were decent at talking to people, right. And then like some hot piece of ash would come That's my own through, company. I own it. Would, yeah. would come to yeah, would come through the tip. Like I own my own tent, man. And look, I got all these fireworks to choose from. You want one? Hey man, let me tell you what, I mean, we'll give you a discount. What's your number real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a di- I got I gotta send you the discount code. Like whatever. Hey, the only thing that explodes I, quicker than these fireworks is me. My dick, <laughs> my wiener explodes real fast. Yeah, it's like a sparkler going off. But no, I mean, yeah, uh, Fourth of July for me is uh, it's fuckable. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun. Fu- it's fun to get with you know with family that you hate and hang out for a few hours and drink some beers just to get over the awkwardness. It's fuckable. It's it's 100 fuckable. And and the thing is, is that like I I I. I the, the setting off of fireworks is way more uh, anxiety inducing than it is fun for me. Like, you know, the dads that are like, I love it. I bought the whole set. I got yeah. it set up. I'm doing the whole thing. And I appreciate that. But for me, I'm just like, how can I get through tonight without someone fucking burn their hand off? Like uh, John Pierre Lewis or whatever fucking like NFL. Um, yeah. Like, you know, and I've almost, almost every single 4th of July, everyone comes within a butt hair of uh, of getting their hand blown off or or a firework tilts the wrong way and shoots at somebody i'm all about keeping the kids safe getting through the night without any limbs being dismembered and it's more stressful for me than anything else so yeah while i appreciate the holiday and all that it means fuck bulls where it goes yeah i'd be the opposite though if i had kids of like all right it's time you learned how to be a man <laughs> go go set those fireworks off there son dude and like Kate's- I'm scared, Dad. Like, don't be a pussy in front of your mother. <laughs> Kate's dad used to get all into fucking Fourth of July. So we go out to the soccer field, and he's like, "You're gonna help me, son. You're gonna help me light up fireworks." It was me and uh, his his son Ethan, and and we're lighting them off. He gives Ethan a fucking wow. blowtorch to light his. He gives me a fucking bic lighter, and he's got a blow. So they got blowtorches. A dick put- lighter? No, bic lighter. Like oh, you know, like a little. God. They have blow torches and you throw them in the tubes and they're like the lit, legit thing. And I've never done this before. And Kate and the girls are sitting back watching and he's like, all right, everybody light them at the same time. They fucking light theirs up instantly. And I'm using a goddamn, the big lighter goes out. So I'm just hovering over trying to get it to light. And all of a sudden he goes, move. And right when he said that, I fucking backed up and like that fucking firework lit right here. Dude, I fucking matrixed it. And it actually burnt my eye. Like the sparks off it burnt my fucking eye. I almost lost my goddamn face Did trying you, uh, to light a fucking firework. You know, like the soundtrack dumb shit. It probably should have gone through your mind at that point. It was like, thou shalt not oh. fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not worth it. Yeah, dude. Before the July, but th- there is some good things about it. Like, you know, cookouts, like hamburgers, hot dogs, fucking fatty ass foods. Good ass fucking time right there. Being fat and just drinking beer, man. Good times. Yeah. There, there, uh, there's there's fun aspects. How about Thanksgiving? That's what I mean, dude. I don't want to fill it up, but I think that dude, I, I gotta be honest. I do Thanksgiving's pretty rad, dude. To be honest. I, the I food, agree. the food I, alone, yeah. the food alone is sexy. Yeah, and football's on, and it, yeah. it, you can watch football all day. Yeah. You can and you, and you got that time. promise of December. 
Yeah. And if you do it right now, Thanksgiving can suck ass donks. It could be a sucks my butt, Steve, if you have to go to family that you hate and like do these big, awkward fucking dinners and you have to do multiple ones. But if you have the right family, my family keeps on dying. So I'm good. I'm good. Well, I, yeah, I don't even talk to half my family. So (laughs) yeah, both (laughs) actually both of our situations are semi-depressing, but also it kind of works out when it comes to Thanksgiving. Cause I just get to eat with my family, uh, and a couple yeah, I mean, other for members, me, like you know? Thanksgiving now is like, just like make the most unhealthy food you want and just fucking eat it. Right. Right. So it's, it's it, in a way it's depressing, but for us, it's actually pretty rad. Yeah, dude, I kind of like it though. You know what I feel like there's something about Thanksgiving for me. I don't know what it is, dude. I feel like you should get fat as fuck on Thanksgiving and then watch independence day. That, that makes sense to me. I don't know why. You know, yo, I know, like, he, like you'd be like an almost in a food coma. Your belly's all fucking sticking out. You feel disgusting. You're fat and greasy. You look like a a fucking uh, a predator in eight millimeter. And then <laughs> after you feel like that, you you put on Independence Day and you just watch yeah. it. That checks out. Laying that, on that your fucking, fat ass watching that, TV. I like it. I like it. I know we said we're only doing two, but that would make sense. It was a it was a, it was an easy one to do. Uh, AJ Bra said, "Rank even Las Vegas. Nick Cage is Oscar winner. Fucking great, goddamn. You've seen this, right?" Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's great. God. I mean, uh, but I, I don't know, man. Like, uh, all timer though. All time. I'm gonna say almost touches the sun. I feel like that. I feel like it's there. Yeah, I'll meet you there for sure. I, yeah. I wouldn't argue all timer, but dude, leaving Las Vegas is like, again, it's is it depressing as fuck? Yes, it's like one of the most yeah. depressing, sad movies of all time. Great but movie. Nick, Nick Cage is so good in it, and he's like, <laughs> he's like. His, it's like 9 a.m. and his hands are shaking so bad he can't like sign a check and he goes up to some random lady after he has a couple whiskeys and he's like, I just want to drink whiskey off your tits. I'm like, <laughs> there's so many wild I was like, God cakes. damn, I can't wait to be your age. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a fucking, it should have won an Oscar. It's an amazing goddamn movie, uh, but super depressing. So I will say also, Almost Touches the Sun. Amazing yeah. fucking movie. You guys got to watch that shit if you haven't seen it. By the it's way, so I, sad, I, dude, I, when he goes to quit way, his I job. Love our, I love our list. It's so fucking weird and so random. <laughs> like no one that was not a part of this live stream is going to understand anything if they come in here and they're like, "What the fuck am I looking at?" <laughs> like it's, the NWO we, we, and then DX and then fucking like the Scooby hearts. Gang and IPAs and <laughs> N64 remotes. Like they're going to be like, "What the fuck is this?" I'll say I noticed that we lost we lost quite a few people several times throughout the night, but I'll say that I, I'm having a great time. I think this is fun as fuck. No, Some those, people, those people only have to deal with things like emotionally, and they're, they're going to come back. Yeah, they're having a good back. time. But uh, Michael Parton wanted me to show you his super chat, where basically all he explained was that the top is when you're the dude on top. The bottom is when you're when you're the dude taking it, and a verse is a dude who both gives and takes. He's a pitcher Wait, and a catcher. No, I figured the verse. So if you're on top, you're you're fucking the ass. Yeah, you're the one. Oh, yeah. And the bottom is like oh, you, know, I get you could be it. a power I get it. bottom. Okay, I get it. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm top. I'm top. Definitely. Someone once called me. Someone I used to work with was like, "Hey, Mike, you, you know, you, if you were gay, you'd be a power bottom." And I was like, "Thank you." Um, yeah, you'd be you'd be taking that fucking dick hard. Whatever. Like, I guess you know, I like gifts. I like getting gifts uh, in the mail. My kind of juicy ass ready for any dick. From strangers. No. <laughs> Austin says H1 Loomis, H4 Loomis, H6 Loomis. Uh, he also says, personally, I love H6 Loomis. He's seen it all, and I hang on every word he says. It's why the it's why I like the producer Scott. Um Halloween one Loomis is there's no doubt it's all timer, right? I mean, that's just where it fucking well, goes. Well, you wait now. I mean, what? You just where hold else? Down. Hold that's it down. where he got. That's where hold he, it down. That's where he goes, Jay. No, okay, but you have to think of what you think of as Doctor Loomis. H one Loomis was a totally different character by the time you got to the end of the road. What people think of as Doctor Loomis, I don't think they really think of H one Loomis anymore. I think they think of the half fucking crazy, like obsessed doctor that's trying to bring justice. For the town in order and, and hunting this demon michael myers down i feel like h1 loomis is I, all the I, main quotes are from the the first one though. like like most of you know I, what i mean like I, if i'm thinking of loomis in my head it's not h1 but how about we give that think, to a, how about we give that to a vote okay. it's either it's gonna be sure. almost as the sun or all timer 
Okay. That I'm going. I mean, I say all timer. I will put it to vote. By the way, in the case of Interstellar, you guys said almost touches the sun, fifty four percent. So yeah. that's where Interstellar goes, and I'll put that there in a moment. But uh, for now, let, let's put this to a vote for you guys. H uh, one Loomis, all timer or almost touches the sun uh h4 loomis i think you're gonna say all timer and i would agree i I, know 100 it's all time so that's a natural easy one um and we're filling up we're filling up the holes quick um as you do Mm -hmm. oh well h4 (laughs) loomis is pretty much where he was like he uh at that point, he was like losing his mind. Like he yeah. he uh, was obs- he was obsessed with Michael. He didn't know what to do anymore. No one was listening to him. And then finally, he was just like, "Fuck this shit! I'll crack some nuts." And he did. H six this- Loomis is fun. I uh, and and Austin, while I appreciate your uh, your commentary there um, about that, you you loved him. I I think H six Loomis was really cool. But at that, like, I feel like in H6, he was the Willie Nelson of what Loomis once was. He was an older guy, kind of like relaxed a little bit. He was still kind of crazy, kind of out there. I feel like he was pretty rad, to be honest, but we we ran out of room. So I put him in, I don't want to put him in fuckable. I don't think he was like, but I, I feel like every iteration of Loomis was great. Like every iteration of Loomis was great. That's what I'm saying. I think almost touches the sun personally because, dude, that that elite that one scene alone where he's like he's 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 it's after H four and he's calmed down a lot. Like he's very calm. He's he's like not dead, just very much retired. Yeah. He was so fucking good in that. But he still he got his ass out of that fucking house. He went to that hospital, found that baby. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then uh, in the end, you've got him freaking out in the hallway. And it's also Pleasance's last performance as Loomis, right? No, and he's I in know. the hallway screaming. Like, no! I feel like you could have H4, H H6, and H1. Really, you could just combine them. You could. I are I mean, are you okay with almost touches the sun? Because that's where I feel like H6 yeah, Loomis we'll should put go. There. We'll put him there. I'm 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 I love that. I love that fucking it's just it's like Loomis in a sweater drinking whiskey. It's I fucking love it. Um that's a good question, Austin. That's tough. That's tough. I think all timer for all of them would, wouldn't be out of the question. Uh Joe Valentine says, in a lot of pain and needed a laugh tonight. Thanks, boys. Hey, Joe. Hey. Hey, man, Joe, thank you, dude. Uh, and, dude I- and, we, and we hope your pain. Listen, man, listen, chew up Percocets. Chew them up. <laughs> It'll work faster. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not I, mean, I don't wrong. know what kind of pain you're having. I, I'm just saying. Shoulder pain. Shoulter pain. This, this, this hurt the shoulder. Uh, yeah, we hope you feel better, man. And hopefully you Thanks, do have a, uh, some nice uh, medication to help you through there. That makes it all better sometimes. Jonathan Harado says, sup, players? Just left Alamo Draft House. Never Ooh. been to one. I'm jealous. Um, what the got- fuck is that? Is that like a na- is that a, like a like a national thing? Is it like a... It's it's I think they're mainly in, in San Antonio. But they oh. do have a franchise. They've got a few theaters Uh oh. But uh, a, a cruise, Jonathan. The why are you States. wearing a shirt that says "Final Girl"? You a bitch. <laughs> I would wear that. That's God actually damn, dude. Awesome. <laughs> you Jesse from F- Freddy Two. Got Liddy and watch the 20th anniversary remaster of Old Boy. So fucked up. What are some of your favorite revenge flicks? Uh, I've never seen Old Boy, dude. I need to fucking. You watch. Have you ever seen the original that one? No, or the remake. Oh, dude, the re- you never. The original was awesome. I need to watch it. I, do. I watched it drunk in uh, one night, and uh, it was great. Um, Death sentence. Dude, fuck you, dude. <laughs> like, give me five seconds to think. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, Death sentence and fuck you, uh, dude. Uh, the Punisher, technically. Hey, the Punisher you can only get one, you motherfucker. Give me a second. <laughs> like, God damn, you already took your truth. Robocop. Technically. All right, well, you know what? Fuck me. I guess I don't get a <laughs> fucking answer because Mike's taking all the fucking ones. I don't even care now. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, dude. I don't fucking know. I guess I'll pick fucking Pet Cemetery. Not <laughs> uh, like a fucking revenge movie. You fucking asshole! You took the best two right off the payback bat. with Mel Gibson. 
you fucking asshole. Right again, <laughs> we can't even go three seconds into the conversation, and Mike's already stealing off the top. <laughs> like Sting. Uh, a good revenge movie. Dude, I don't even want to play this game anymore. Fuck this. His kid's coming in here. Stop. What's your favorite? She can't hear you. It's okay. Mm. What's your favorite revenge movie of all time, Ellie? Zombies yeah. 3? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to use that one, too. <laughs> you stole Jay's pick. Oh, man. He's mad. <laughs> okay. Good night. Love you. Um... Fuck, dude. <laughs> you can pick wait, what I said. No, wait, no, I don't want to pick what you fuck. I know your answer is death wish. No, dude, it. it's not. Or, uh, it's sentence. the one that Kevin Spacey acted like a retard and he wasn't at the end of the movie. <laughs> what was that? Life movie? of David Gale? No, no that's, that's, that's not. No, the, it was a mod squad. The uh, one that I never he saw was, he had a, No, it was, we had a limp and then he starts walking normal. They made fun of it in Scary Movie. What the, the fuck usual suspects? That? The usual, yeah, that's it. Right there. Is that a revenge movie? I mean, to me, it was. I'm gonna take it since I because they call him like, retard and shit. And they didn't like fucking think he was like worth anything, and he wound up fucking actually four scups a goddamn revenge movie. Fuck <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Who's dead, bitch? Not me. Four scup is the greatest revenge flick of all time. Kyle said rank lethal weapon franchise. Let's say, say thanks, man. Uh, number one, number. They're directly in order. One, two, three, That's four. Yeah, just I, as it plays yeah, out. I'm, I'm, yep, I'm in. Yep. And I love them all. They're all fucking great. But yeah, for sure, man. Um, Tyler McInturf. God, you got a cool name. Tyler McInturf. Is that Dolly Parton in your profile pic? Damn, she's hot as fuck. I thought Holy that was shit. Pamela Anderson. That's Dolly Parton, dude. I think that's oh, Dolly shit. Parton. Well, she gave me food poisoning in the seventh grade. Just so yet. <laughs> yeah. Just yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rank these Tim Curry classics. Red Hot PP Suckers. Uh, um, no, Clue. he means Rocky Horror Picture Show. Clue. It. Congo. Uh, it. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Clue. Congo. Yeah, uh, it's going to be, uh, for me, It. Clue. Rocky Horror Picture Show. And Congo. And he says, love you guys. I keep that ass fat, Daddy Mike. I got that. <laughs> I just read that. I yeah, I brought that. Keep that ass fat, bro. You so like that, that fat cheeks? more dicks could get fucking slammed in that shit. I had salmon and rice. Mark's ass is becoming like a containment unit at Ghostbusters HQ. <laughs> Ready to spoot. <laughs> <laughs> Greasefeld said, Adventures in Babysitting don't tell mom Ooh, versus don't tell one. mom the babysitter. Oh, died. shit, dude. Don't tell mom. 100%. Yeah, dude, don't tell mom is like an all-timer. In my so opinion, underrated. it's... It, man... I, is it an all timer? I don't know. It's definitely almost touches the sun. It, like it's it's definitely in the upper echelons. Yeah, we don't have to. I think just putting them against each other. Uh, yeah, putting it that way, I would definitely say yeah. they'll tell on babysitter died. That mm -hmm. that movie fucking rocked, man. That was a great movie. Yep. Uh, John Horsot said, "Hey guys, what would you rank Mad God and Revenge?" Damn, John. Not everybody's into fucking emo shit, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Mad God and Revenge? I think. He Stop you, John. I'm trying to. We're going to feel really dumb when we figure out what he's talking about. No, dude. Mad but... God and Revenge. I've never seen any. Would you. What I... would you rank Mad God and Revenge? What the fuck are those movies? Revenge. Is it the Kevin Costner movie? Kevin oh, no, are you talking about categories like a Mad God? Mad God. Or a Revenge, revenge type movie. I mean. Fuck, I... Sorry, John. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know, John. 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 Don, 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 Don. We love you, though, dude. We love you. Thank Sean you, says, rank Breakfast Club and Scream group shot. Fuck you. Group no. shot? Fuck you, dude. What? Fuck who? Rank Breakfast what Club. What do I do? Group shot. Group shot, what do you mean? Like, no, I'm not doing that. Everyone's confusing us. And what do you think is more iconic? I'm an 80s born dude, so I'm going Scream. Okay, so. How are you okay, going to be an 80s born dude and you're going to go with Scream? What the fuck are you talking, bro? <laughs> Let's just do it this way. Let's 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 rank each movie. So Scream, we know is an all timer, right? Because we've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. That's that's an obvious all timer. You agree with that at least, right? Yeah, no, I do. I got okay. a poster. Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, Breakfast Club, that's a fucking all timer. I mean, yeah, that's, that's not- what I'm saying. Now we're fucked. Now we're fucked. Shit. You guys are asking too many. All right. I, I'm fine with moving. No the fucking edge to- way, dude. No. If you put that below all timer, you're an idiot. No, no, the edge. I'm talking oh, yeah. putting the, ed- the edge right. and yeah, almost it. touches the yeah. sun, and we'll yeah. put Breakfast Club in instead because okay. we were we were torn on that anyways. So that's fine with me. So Breakfast Club goes right in there. I hope that's what you meant, Sean. Uh, he probably did. Love you, dude. But we're dumb. <laughs> Robin said your name is Judge Rod. <laughs> Judge Rod. <laughs> I said you better not. You better not. Uh, I yeah. Uh, I would say I'll say if you're if you were talking about Kevin Costner's revenge, I would say I would say fuckable. No, I'd say. Nah, I'd say fuck. Oh, cool. I've never seen that. It, it it's it's got a good story. You think it's gonna be fucking badass? It's pretty awesome, and then and it ends. And you're like, oh, that was all that happened. But Shit. then again, if we told you like our personal opinion on the Postman, me and Mike actually liked that fucking movie, and everyone else fucking hated it. I like the Postman. The Postman, the Postman is fucking good, dude. All Postman right, Postman fucking rules, dude. Three hours Postman. long, and it's worth every fucking bit of it. Yeah, uh, this is a great question. The Austin Ooh. Powers franchise. Ooh, Adrian coming in here with the hot fucking boy energy, hot boy, hot boy. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be, um, dude, come on, man. I gotta put it's gotta be almost such as the sun because the first two are great, the third one kind of sucked, and there's been no fourth. I almost, if it wasn't full, I would argue with you. For pretty rad and the reason is is because they did not age well like they were they were some of the funniest fucking movies the first two of are our great, life man. but they didn't age well like if you watch them now it's not as funny and when's no, the last I'll time you watched one like five years ago yeah dude i'm telling you when you watch them now you're like oh shit like it's surprisingly not yeah as funny i feel like they be. work better as clips i feel like what works what why, why austin powers has stayed around is because of clips on youtube yeah, and like the the I think we all did the quotes so goddamn much that like yeah. you've seen them so many times. So we'll go almost touches the sun. That's fine. And maybe I'll try to rewatch them again and see if I'm right. It's a bit nutty. Um okay. So honestly oh, something smells like shit. That's because <laughs> it is shit, Austin. Oh, it's not just me then. I'm fat because I eat and I eat because I'm fat. Um Austin Who does number two. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn, boy, what'd you eat? <laughs> Austin said, if you could have a movie accurate Halloween costume, what would it be? I'd pick Pumpkinhead easily. Still working mm. on that. Mm. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Um, dude, the the original you, puppetry. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I, I, dude, fuck you, dude. Like, I pick can't Robocop. Even, like, I can't even talk, dude. Pick Robocop. No, fuck you, dude. That's a good now one. You, now you said what you wanted, and now I have to think <laughs> about it. <laughs> I don't know I'd wait for you. God to speak. damn, dude. Wait for a minute. Oh, oh. Are you DMX all of a sudden? You got a fucking <laughs> dog to beat? Uh, <laughs> That's actually what I was going for. <laughs> you fucking Michael Vick motherfucker. Uh, no, all right. Uh, a movie accurate Halloween costume. What would it be? A movie accurate, like dead on. Dude, I think if you got it exactly right, Predator. Oh. One That'd be sexy, motherfucker. Dude. Yeah, I think you could do a predator. Not like Not Arnold, because like no one's gonna be that buff. <laughs> but this, this predator. Robocop was better, but that's still a pretty good choice. Why don't you go suck that fucking guy <laughs> from Australia's dick that does the props? Chris Hollywood. That's what I said. Hey, he's handsome. I would suck that uh, guy. Yeah, I'd suck his dick too, dick. but you could do it first and tell me how <laughs> 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 Joe Valton said, "Rank the Dark Knight, Dark Knight trilogy, right quick." Uh, Dark Knight. It goes. Oh, Batman Begins, yeah, and then yeah. Dark Knight Rises. Mine's Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. You're saying that because I said Dark Knight first. No, I, sir, I do. I've always thought. I, I've always said that. It's not, you never. Yeah, I did. I talked to you uh-uh. about that all the time, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> no, you don't. I wasn't you there. Need to, you need to calm your tits down a little bit, all right? You get a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me in that uh john horse i said mad god is a stop motion film revenge mm. 2017 movie that came out on shutter oh that was a rape revenge story i, I do remember I never, that one. I, I never seen him john uh for the revenge movie i would say fuckable i thought it was way too you did unrealistic. not watch mad god though you did not watch mad no, god no i didn't i did i just i no, i did not i did not <laughs> yeah I mike didn't. said stop motion what? film what a fucking I, nerd i don't watch cartoons <laughs> no dude 
Uh, I, is it good though? <laughs> I'd watch it. Sounds sounds it's a cool name. It is a cool name. Mad I won't God. lie about that. Adrian says last one. I think Beavis and Butthead in South Park. Ooh. Oh God, dude! Oh. Like I like how you like That's casually good. threw that in there, there, Adrian. You're like last one though. That's oh. a big one. Holy shit, dude! Like listen, listen. Uh, Beavis and Butthead versus South Park, or not versus, but were you, they both are. In my opinion, they're both old timers, dude. Yeah. yeah Look what are. Beavis and Butthead did for MTV and and what they did for animation and what they did for like adult humor in cartoons. Like Beavis and Butthead are like the granddaddy of that. Like you could put Ren and Stimpy in that conversation too, but Beavis and Butthead were, were the one that pushed that shit to a level that not ever been seen before. And then South Park takes that shit that your granddad left behind in the dirt and said, I'm going to put my dick in it and fucking make a stripper in <laughs> Vegas suck it. So, I mean, they're both. Uh, you, they're all Beavis, timers. They're all timers. Both of them are. They're all timers. They're, they're not just like. Like Beavis and Butthead is fucking just all like you don't just have the TV shows, but you also have the movies and that they change things. Like when we were kids growing up, Beavis and Butthead was the only, it felt like it was the only thing out there willing to be that stupid. Yep. And it was just like put your finger up your butt and eat nachos. Like it was the only thing. And it blew our fucking minds as kids. If you guys didn't grow up in this generation, you don't understand. Beavis and Butthead to us was like, oh, my fucking God. Yeah, this is the greatest thing of all time. And then South Park, the longevity of it, man, and how smart it actually secretly yeah, is. It really is, yeah. Fuck. Uh, so those are both all timers, even though we ran out of space. So let me do this, dude. How about this? I want to fill in this fucking. I want to fill in no, this man, goddamn. Just delete Beavis and Butthead and put South Park in there. No, I, I squ- Oh yeah, yeah. No, I know that. But as far as the rest of the list goes, I want you guys. First off, let's do this. We're going to fill go. up the list, but sexy, we're going to do it together. sexy fan. <laughs> we're going to get it together. I'm, I'm counting on you, the audience. Everybody shout it out. Shout it out loud. Um, we need one almost touches the sun. What is a movie that almost touches yeah. the sun? Give us, you guys give us, give us, give us your give picks. Us a, give us a good one. Give us a good one. And after that, we're going to fill out fuckable and sucks my butt Steve, which will be far easier. But give us a movie that almost touches the sun. I'm not even going to interject here. I want to know what you guys say. We don't have to. We don't have to fill them out. I mean, if it, like if it just didn't I want to. God, fuck you, dude. Can you hear it? Is it loud enough? So you... My that's hands the, starting to hurt. That's the inner depression of Mike. <laughs> that's what that sound is. <laughs> no man, I don't know, man. Like that's going to be a big one. Freddie got fingered. Uh, last nah, action dude, no hero way, La- in game whiplash Ooh, no the dude, matrix is, oh god damn dude maybe this is an all-timer no dude. these are all all timers oh my god dude they're all timers oh my god we're not ready for this fucking situation inception i think that sucks my butt steve uh, the nice uh, guys stacy james the nice guys that's not no dude no it's not uh kyle with terrifier 2 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, I, I know. Uh, Rounders, that's an all timer. Rounders, all fucking timer. Wild Willie. Um, Kill Bill Volume One from the Boogeyman. I, I've not seen the Kill Bill. Uh, Jonathan Nichols says Pumpkinhead. I'd say that's an all timer, though, right? It's arguable. That's close. Oh, that could be a good one. Put that in our, I think, put that in the memory banks right there. Pumpkinhead memory bank. I think, right there. I think waiting right is there. an all timer. Waiting. Yep, that's an all timer. Uh, but Pumpkinhead. Neither of us are fans of Pumpkinhead. Friday 13, 1980. Uh, it follows. Wow. Okay. Stop the vote. Pumpkinhead versus It Follows as Almost Touches the Sun. What do you have? What do you have? What do you feel? I'm Tell more me. comfortable with Pumpkinhead being an all-timer and It Follows going in I Almost do. Touches the Sun. I agree. Which is I, agree. I, I will. Go, I, yes. I, I will Dig go with it this. in, yeah, Jim. Let's, let's go with this. Yep. We got a winner. Who said that? Who fucking said that? I swear to God, I'm going to come over there and fuck. Chad Joyce, it follows. Well done, Chad sir. Joyce, I, hope I hope your dick is like freaking ready for like two mouths to be up uh, on top of it. Hey, you know what's weird about that what? whole thing? Is it what? was totally pointless because we forgot Interstellar went in there and I didn't put it in there. But it Fuck doesn't matter. It. it doesn't matter because we're going to put it in anyways. It follows and Interstellar because we're sheep fuckers who don't follow our own rules. Um, it all right. follows Interstellar. It's still like a fucking shitty Twitter handle. We got three spots for fuckable. What movies do you guys think are fuckable? Give it to us. 
give it to way, me. Don't like rate some high ass shit. Like you know, you fuckable. Know I mean? like, don't be yeah, fuckable only. Like movies that you're like, fit. yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Greg said two girls one cup. That is the darkest like, I ever saw in my fucking that, life, man. That's an all timer, you dumb shit. <laughs> Jake jerks <laughs> off to that every morning. I mean, before for sure. oatmeal. I mean, do you not? I mean, I, I <laughs> uh ginger snaps piranha mm. halloween ends from adrian mm. I, I, I think halloween is pretty rad in my opinion I, shut the uh, fuck up you sin uh, judgment night's an all-timer luke don't know oh, dude, cody judgment, brown said lake yeah. placid oh that's uh, silent hill one kyle silent hill one totally fuckable perfect right there right there that's one yep. that's fucking one that's well done right kyle there. right there fucking dick kyle's a fucking champion of of, of the multiverse did you not know? Did you not know that? Yeah, he's, he's, he's literally fucking Toby McGuire. Um, <laughs> Hellraiser 2 from Jonathan Nichols? Unfuckable? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay. I put uh, it pretty rad. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Next Generation. I know Jay hates that. So. I fucking do. That sucks oh. my butt, dude, for me. I know what you did last summer. That's fuckable. That's fuckable. That's, that's, fuckable. that's well done, I Stacey. fuck with you, but I don't like you, dog. <laughs> you represent the wrong click click dog <laughs> <laughs> jay stop watching fucking grand theft auto for god's sakes it's changing you stop no, it I, I i just think it's funny <laughs> <laughs> uh robocop 2 uh, no dude better. that's fucking like pretty rad dude that's uh, like... i i didn't he's better Ooh, dude, that's, that's better than bad, that's badass dude that's yeah. too badass uh, like, no, the room no. i don't remember the room i don't know that no, i don't know that one uh resident evil Ah, yeah, fuckable, fuckable. yeah that's fuckable. that's that's, that's fuckable. totally fuckable, fuckable. Man. Fuckable. totally checks out um i think this is the funnest part of the night to be honest with you. <laughs> i'm having a great time just letting you guys tell us what, what are you doing but where. yeah put that bit yeah there we go yeah. all right uh that rounds it out oh uh, now we got up. now let's get that let's get into the stinky give us like, the shittiest crack fucking open shit. and let us smell it yeah, give us the like fucking shitty shittiest movies. shit you guys can think of. What is shitty absolute ass movie. goblin trash? We got seven spots to fill up. Let's go. Jeepers Creepers 2022, absolutely. Ooh, Stick that's a good one. The boogeyman. That's right. That's why he's the boogeyman. He brings bad news. Yes. That's where you belong. I don't even remember that. Oh, it was reborn. That's what it was. Who gives a fuck? It's not, it's not worthy <laughs> of the title. Okay, that's one. Okay, so I'm starting with... I got to go back up to where he said Cheapers Creepers. Okay. Uh, uh, scream, shut up, Sean. Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> yeah, Jen, dude! Jen, Fuck Jen, I like that. Board, dude. Fuck that shit. Chris folks has got it. The new black for Christmas. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, Easy. Yeah. Easy. I'm doing this. Easy layup. Easy layup. Black. Dude, God damn, man. 21. I, I gotta stop remember. drinking. I'm starting to look like a fucking like I look like a narc in like, like GTA. A narc? Like I look like <laughs> like a GTA Vice City narc. <laughs> no, dude, I look like a fucking uh, narc on you. Wild Willie oh, says resurrection. Yeah, dude. I stick it was, in there. Yeah, well, if there was something below sucks my butt, resurrection would be there. But resurrection yep. is definitely a yep. It's that's it. One. That's an easy one. Uh, Huncho Joshi. <laughs> uh, Chucky 2019 with Mark Hamill. Plus, I turned 24. Hey, happy oh, birthday, dude. dude. Shit, dude. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, bro. But damn, dude. Uh, we kind of like Chucky. We kind of like that. I mean, yeah. I think it's fuckable at best. Vince, Vince right. Yeah, Phrase dude. Sucks you got to get in that. Like, you got to get in that. Phrase dead sucked asshole. That was bad yeah. fucking movie, dude. I, I like. I love Too how people easy. later on are coming out with saying, like, well, you gotta appreciate it for what it was. Nah, dude. Like they go. fucking ruined uh, Freddy's character. Kids, uh, fucking shut up, yeah. shut up. Uh, I like Jeepers Creepers too, Lewis. I thought Jeepers Creepers too. It's not. Good. I say Jeepers Creepers too is fuckable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, wrong <laughs> bell. I forgot how that felt. I forgot. I forgot when that giant frost demon shoved a dick in my asshole. And now I remembered. Yes, dude, you're correct. Annihilation, Mortal Kombat definitely yeah. deserves a suck my butt, Steve. That's a easy one. to the juices of the crack. That's a fucking easy one. Oh, God Austin damn. says Corey Cunningham. I like Corey. Corey. Cunningham. Like... <laughs> Just disappeared. Are you running circles? You just have to get a beer out of your tiny freezer. Dude, I feel like fucking egg shin from 
big trouble with China. Magic? <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting up and moving around, but yeah, dude. What they say? Uh, did, I didn't see Velma season uh, one. I know it sucks ass. I didn't see either. I know uh, they did a lot of bullshit with it, but I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what joystick Liz Liz. Uh yeah. Yeah, dude, you no, gotta put yeah. it in there. You gotta yeah. do it, okay? Yeah, what killed the dinosaurs? The Isons! The Isons! <sighs> yeah. Batman and Robin. Uh, playing the hits. We're playing the hits right now. These are these are definitely obvious ones that you cannot walk away from. One way, more time spot. Out, time out. Time out. You don't have to pick movies. It could be a song. Oh, it's it already over, a, dude. It's you know, already over. Guys, it doesn't you matter. Guys are, you guys didn't pay attention to the instructions. It no, could be anything. I, I, it I could be... Say, to be fair, I said movies on that last one. That, oh, was, okay. that was me. But Cody's fucking... Uh, There's nothing worse! Is get out of here, worse? Sid. I don't want you to be part of my seed of my legacy. There's almost nothing worse than goddamn Seed of Chucky. Maybe the worst movie of all time. Mm. Arguable. Thanks Killing is probably the worst movie of all time. Yeah, well, yeah, you got a, you got a point there. That's that's pretty fucking bad. Uh, Seed of Chucky rounds us out, and that's our final sucks. That's such a, dude, this list is cool as fuck. I love this list. It's so weird. It's so weird. Because I, if I were like a first-time viewer coming into the show, I'm like, these guys are obviously unattractive and fat. But then the second thing I'd say is like, what the fuck is going on with this list? And it would it would make me pause and look into it. I'm like, oh, are they talking about all these different subjects? What a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> but I like it. Dude, we got because I think from- that we we captured the 80s and 90s in like one fucking grand scheme. Yeah, I think we did a great job. Like, I think we did a great job. Uh crowd's been up and down as far as how many people are in here all night. To, that's fair because we were talking about some weird shit, but yeah, I think right. we did a great job. I think the crowd did a great job. We got the NWO. We got everything from NWO to Lion King Scar to the Walking Dead, Hard Seltzers, Missionary Position, Piper from Scream, Turtles in Time, All the Holidays, Austin Powers, The Edge, fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi, okay, goddamn. Dude. Dreamcast remotes, fucking Chance the Dog from Homeward Bound. We got it all. Onion rings. Onion, onion rings. rings. <laughs> <laughs> this show can do anything. We talked about onion rings for 20 goddamn minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, that, well, I think that's the point, though. Like, this is uh, as much as our show as your show. So <laughs> we're happy to share it with you guys 100%. Oh, dude. <laughs> Like, dude, listen, if there was, we dude, make a new tier. I, I would have put that in fucking sucks my butt, Steve. Jay's ex wife. If you had said that earlier, 100%. But if there was something underneath Steve's asshole, like like the sewer <laughs> that runs from the juices from his crack, she'd be in there. But I got to be honest with you, man. Like, what a great fucking time. It was really fun. I mean, and again, this was your stream, not ours. It was your guys' stream. And that, oh, by the that's way. what we love about it. They do say H1 Loomis, 91 to 9%. And maybe the biggest blowout poll of all time. Uh, in the case of Halloween ones, Loomis, 91% say all timer, 9% say almost touches the sun. I feel like you all are wrong. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Chris Wall said this should be a shirt. We should put this literal fucking list on a that shirt. That could be a shirt. That really could be a shirt. <laughs> I love it, dude. That's fucking great. Um, holy shit, man. I've had a good time. Mm-hmm. Everyone can tell you've had a good time, Frank. The whole Everyone. time can tell you've had a good time. Yeah. You're running around well, the streets hey, naked. Again, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, the ones that stayed and, and, uh, and participated. We really enjoyed all you guys. You guys are smart, sexy, your opinions matter. And, uh, man, we're really happy for all you guys. Like, thank you guys for, for helping us out, man. Yeah. This is fun. I had a blast. Yeah, I had a goddamn sure. blast, and it seems like the fucking folks hanging out here tonight had a good, had a great time too. So uh, that was awesome. Hey, we'll see you guys again this week very soon. Mm-hmm. Um, if and- you guys want more of this, like uh, you know, by the way, like the video. If you guys get a chance to like the fucking video, yeah, and comment in the in the bottom afterwards. But God damn, I was saying nice things to Mike and Jay live, but then when I went back and watched it, like these guys are fucking doofuses. That's whatever true. that's fine those are facts yeah it does but, happen from time to time thank uh, you guys yeah you guys made the show you guys make everything fucking go jojo what's what how's it go bg built the machine oh yeah 
Mention Philippus Chief. Judge Medico. Who the spot? Who the whole damn thing apart? <laughs> you guys are our JoJo. Good night. We love See you. you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>